There it is. There it is. That's how we know we're back. I I missed y'all. Um, not you two. Yeah, everybody I was else. Say we'll make you regret that in about ten minutes. Yeah, no, not <laughs> not you two. Everybody else. I missed everybody else. It's not. I think here. it's gonna take ten minutes. Maybe. Look at these filthy fucking boots. What the hell have you been walking in, Santa? Okay. Viv, there's an issue in Firebot with. Uh. <laughs> with actions. I don't know why actions don't work. Like, chat chat actions don't come through, but I don't know what the hell's going on. That's... Viv, Viv you're that's, appropriately proud of yourself. <laughs> uh, first of all, hello everyone. Hello Batsy and Viv and Faf. Um, the chuckle fucks, of course. Hi! There we go. Because I said so, Batsy. Because I pushed a button, and actually I didn't even have to push the button. The button pushes itself. Um, it's one of them kind of fancy buttons. It is one of them kind of fancy buttons. Um, yay! So, uh, I missed y'all. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, we did family vacation-y stuff this weekend. Hung out with the wee toddler niece. I missed my bed very dearly. And, yes. Uh, hey, Did Ever. We toddler... Uh... Oh, hey, it's Ever. Ever ever wanted to give me shit today because over on her stream... Reverse. I can't do that. Reverse. Just like... Reverse. Yeah. Well, just like what? that. Reverse. 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 Just, yeah. You're in our house now. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Did the uh, did the wee toddler niece do some of her best Sydney impersonations for you? Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. She's she's very That's very good at that. She's tremendous. Yeah, she's fantastic at that. It's great. Um. Anyway, so yeah, we spent the weekend, uh, long weekend with wee toddler niece and family. Um, she had a great time. We had a good time. I'm exhausted. My legs hurt because I walked a fuck ton. Um, I, ugh, ugh. yeah. Can you imagine like you it was a vacation? Imagine walking, right? Imagine walking. No, I won't imagine it. I know you won't pal. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, I was, I, I was, you often, but ugh. yeah, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, we got home on, uh, we got home on Thursday, like early afternoon, and I was just like, you know what? I'm I'm tired. I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna. And so I didn't, and that's why this is the first stream in a, over a week. Um, the sound of the proclaimers crying in the <laughs> distance. That's oh, you're not, fantastic. You're well not done, wrong. Fancy. You're not wrong. Um. So yeah. Um, anyways, hi, uh, I did a lot of firebot work the last couple of days though. I got a lot of stuff done. Um, we, uh, let's see. What was the, what was the word I was looking for? John snow job. No, not that. Um, no oh, persisting. That's the, that's the word I was looking for persisting. And I only offended you one time. Yeah. You only, only once. Yeah. That's, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, dun, 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 but yeah, dun, dun, I dun. I rewrote a bunch of stuff in Firebot over the last couple of days, like related to tr logging into Twitch, which hopefully ends up oh, only oh. once, right? Right, Alibeth? Oh. Also, hi, Miss Alibeth. That's hey, Miss Alibeth. That's my wife. It is. It's true. True. I do love to her. Mm hmm. Yeah, in fact, that's his, that's his wife because I said so. Oh, so mm -hmm. you may have may not have seen. There's been some loosening of the uh, of the terms of service here on Twitch, and I am here to tell you that oh, I boy. held her hand. <sighs> okay, listen, I don't have that tag on my stream, so you can't just say that kind <laughs> of thing. Okay, <laughs> you can't. This stream is not properly tagged for that kind of perversion. 
Hey, listen, we interlocked fingers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, but, 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 but. Well, he did. No, <laughs> no, just none of that. That's terrible. <laughs> there it is. There's the, you better believe that's a cackling. He says that like he wasn't doing that to Bean earlier today. Um, anyway, um. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome back to all of you and to me. And yeah. Yes. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. This we, is... we have some, some pent up pestering to do. <laughs> God help me. Folks, if you didn't know, by the way, because this is going to be one of those things you randomly hear me keep uttering things about as. The next, I don't know, hour or so goes on. Uh-huh. They, released, they, they released a uh, f- free DLC for Power Watch Sim where you get to clean Santa's workshop. It's available now if you play on PC. That's, yeah, that's true. That's true. And I'm cleaning Santa's workshop right now. Yep. He is, in fact, cleaning Santa's workshop. There's a lot of green goo. And I don't know if it's like liquefied elf or... If they had Junimo surprise in here, well, that's the that's certainly a natural way to to do that. And yeah, sure, why not? Why why wouldn't that be the first natural conclusion that you come to? Why why not? Why, I mean. Well, either that or the abominable snowman was in here sneezing all over the fucking floor. I mean, again, also sure, sure. We can we can go with that too. Hmm. I have viscera for that, yeah. The pestering to do yeah, uh yeah, wholesome faff. That's what it is. It's wholesome. Hi Mags. How are you? I was hanging out with Mags some earlier. Um, Where are you now? I was. Yeah, we were. We were actually all hanging out, watching Ever together earlier today, as you know, as we tend to do sometimes in the daytimes. So you were in fact together forever. <sighs> so it's so Twitch recap season. Together. It's Twitch recap season. We're gonna just. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes is all it took for him to start ignoring us. <laughs> oh. Batsy, I was off. I predicted 10. Batsy, what did you have? What did you have for dinner? I mean, I guess if you didn't go over, Tom, it counts under prices, right? Rules. Um, you got Jersey Mike's. Oh, yes. Bless Jersey I'm Mike's. By that, I get both showcases. That's. No, you were off by several dollars. Um, no, you you can be within a hundred. Actually, these days you can be within two fifty. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They changed that a few years back because you know inflation and all that. Inflation. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, it's Twitch recap time, so we get to talk about things that happened this year. Um, so let's go through the official Twitch stuff first. Let's go to the videotape. So this is my personal. I watched Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> but what about tree fitty? Eh, there it is. Uh, if you would like to view your recap and you haven't, you can do so here. There's a link to the recap. Um, it's also just in your uh, pr- profile dr- or drop down. If you click on your little. It's true. Do. It's true. It is your there too. Picture. Yeah. It is there too. Ice bear needs it for um, everyday hustling. <sighs> <laughs> High five, Pernt. <laughs> you know, Pernt. First of all, thank you, Perny, for eighteen months. Second of all, I could fart into the microphone as retaliation, but I won't. I won't because I'm the bigger person. Literally. That's yeah, actually in every in every conceivable way I am bigger than Pernt, that's true. Um because I'm a I I'm a I'm a what now? Wait, we're farting into microphones? Why didn't anyone tell me? Okay, I all right, Pernt, I guess I'll give you that one. That one's fair. 
Um, <laughs> God damn it. Damn. Uh, Alka, hi, buddy. It's good to see you, pal. Um, anyway, let's, let's look into, let's look at the stuff. So I watched over 8,000 hours of needs it for Twitch everyday this year, which almost doesn't seem Jesus possible. Christ. Tani, holy shit. 27, that, that Does doesn't, that doesn't... Where's the hat? Did oh, you check your butt? No, it's all, it's right next to me. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, thank you, thank you, troublemakers, for starting a a hype train. Where's my? There it is. Twitch, uh, Mags. Yeah, I I I lurk a lot. I I lurk a I lurk a lot. Like does it? I Does it count several. time where you're monitoring your own stream? Uh, I don't know. I think it counts. Uh, like I think I count as a viewer. I think so. Yeah, I. I mean, that would make sense. I think you do show up, like on mod view, you show up in the list. As... Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Here's here's what's funny. So let's do this. Let's do this by the numbers. This is. 8.15k. Okay, so that's 8,150. If we divide that by 24 hours. That means I have watched 300, almost 340 straight days of Twitch this past so year. The Iceberg's heart is closing. A little. Perny, thank you for the twenty dollars. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Go see a Star War. Go. I guess I will go see a Star War. Uh, I do. I. I will. Yeah. I will pop browsers with Twitch all the time, and I will like. So I have the browser set not to put Twitch to sleep, so the tabs never go to sleep. Um, so, like, in case, like, something happens, it can continue to uh, do its thing. Um, see more than one Star Wars? Fuck you, Pern. I'm watching a trilogy now. Um, but I also have multiple people open at one time. So, like, most of the people that I follow, like, a lot of them, I will have tabs open and just leave it open for lurkings. Like I, I will, I, I am a serial lurker. Um, and like an Alka, Alka, but yeah, but in your case though, you have like 9 million streams that you're on. So that's, that makes sense for you. I only watched 1.64 K. Yeah. Alka is a parallel lurker. I'm the same way. I am too. I am too. Um, you only, so. I can't be, or my oh, whole computer just starts people. to have a fucking fit. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, like, I just... My hubris! I'm your third watch stream yet? Wait a minute, Matt. Why am I not your number one watch stream? Why am I not? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's... <laughs> Twitch won't let you share your resub? I could feel it in my heart, so that's okay. Yeah, I must. I, I, it, like, it has to count double. It, like, it has to count for every hour of video that you consume. Um, so, you want to know something funny? So, listen. First of all, Max, thanks for the three hundred bits. Second of all, uh, it's, it's the, uh, the, um, what the hell is it? The end of the year um, of giving or whatever they're calling it. It's the end of the year bonus. Twitch. It's the end of your bonus. So Twitch is any any uh, bits that are cheered Season for. Season of giving is Lexus. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, any bits that are cheered three hundred or up, uh, Twitch will uh, give at least ten percent and maybe more. Just like in this case, they just did fifteen percent. So uh, thank you, Mags, for the three hundred. Thank you, Twitch, for the bonus forty five. Um. So thank you, thank you. Ever had ten point three thousand hours watched this year? See, Jesus Christ! Yeah, well, ever a lot of people know ever. Ever, she's very popular. She's very well liked, so she knows a lot of people, and she likes to hang out in their streams. Um, oh no, not that! Like it's just like I, I'm like, yeah, I think I watch a lot of Twitch, and then I'm like, yeah, I got ten thousand hours. Like, what the heck? What? Yeah. <laughs> Ever everybody everybody that I know that knows you likes you and so stop that. Um, I know you ever and I like you. See, and I hate everything. That's also very true. That's also very true. Um, so yeah, that's a that's that's several. 
Um, but anyway. Uh, so, but I only really fact. five categories. Yeah, you're my fourth most watched stream. I'm your fourth watch stream. Yes. Well, in I fairness, think... in fairness, you get it in Discord, so you don't watch like the actual stream. That's... That was going to be my point. Is I don't think it actually counts me as watching you. No, it doesn't. If you're in chat but you don't have the and... video open, no. So unless you have a, by the way, thank you for the hype train, y'all. Um, if you, if you have, if you, it only counts you as viewing if you have a video or audio stream up in the case of audio, if you're on mobile and you have like your phone, like locked, uh, in standby and it's got it playing in the background, um, or you have set it to audio only, which you can do on mobile, um, you, that will count as a view, um, but yeah, like, yeah, in your case, you, you don't, you watch me here in discord, so it doesn't, you know, there's no, yeah, like that makes sense. Oh, but I bet you're my most watched streamer in discord. I, that's because you only hang out in discord with me. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I guess. Well, also the, the lion's share of my Twitch watching is during work hours. Um, so far Alka, this is, this is my viewer recap. Top streams reached my top stream reached a hundred. Oh, this is my overall recap. So it's got a little bit of both. So my top stream reached 196 viewers. Holy shit. 80, 80,000 chats. Does that mean I sent 80,000 chats? Which I mean, again, that seems like that makes sense for me. Yeah. Well, how you said you're a serial lurker. Yeah, but I also like, I, I have a, sh I still talk, but I also, you know, hang out with people. Okay. Satisfactory. Uh, my top five categories, satisfactory, Palea, Earthbound, Fortnite, and Moonstone. Yeah, I think Patsy's right on that. I, I, are you sh oh, this is, is my creator, creator one? one? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I am on my creator one. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. That means that was 8,000 hours people watched of me. Oh, okay. Now that makes a lot more sense. Thank you, Batsy. Okay, so y'all sent 80,000 chats here. These are my categories that I stream to, which makes more sense. Okay, you know what? I, those, those tags, I'm very happy with those tags being my top three. Like, okay, English, sure. But like those two, that's... I, 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 like, that the, I like that those are... I like that. Is that like click through from those tags? I'm or? assuming so, yeah. Or like oh, okay. search search results for those tags. Let's see. Look at oh, let's look maybe, at the emotes. Yeah. Uh so the heart was used seven hundred and twenty three times. Concern was used four hundred and forty nine. Look look at that very good boy who loves those was Viv. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at that's that's that is the look of a boy who's who can detect cheese. Um, oh, hang on a second. The under too high was three eighteen. Hold on, that was my most used emote this year, I think. Oh, nice. Oh no, it wasn't, but it's up there. It's uh, then there's fourth. the loaf moat and the bean moat. So these are I honestly ninety four of those three eighteens. <laughs> you're ninety four of this one. Nice. Of thunder too high. Any emotes and raid messages get listed high. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Although concerns not a raid was so like to for that to be in second place is like we're just very concerned around here. Okay, we, boy, howdy, are we ever? Are we ever? I'm well, sure no, a lot of those ever is ever. That's, oh, I see. Viv greets you whenever he comes into into chat. So every time, yeah, it's it's you know it's uh it's tradition. I bet we could face his tradition. I bet tradition, we could beat your that face. If we had a Zauzet emote. It's literally just Viv. yeah. It's it's just Viv. <laughs> it's just Viv. Yeah, the the heart one. I really like that. Like, I am. I mean, obviously, I like all of my emotes because you know I commissioned them and and had them specifically designed. But like, this one is just so goddamn cute. I love that mm -hmm. one so much. And I love that I, I will never get over how much the bean moat looks like a bean. It's wild how like the, and I made, I made sure like I had a couple of, I had some feedback on like even the color of her hair to make sure the hair color was like just right. 
but like, yeah, use concern a lot too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's Bean. Uh, all well, right, bonus that... five goals reached. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so raised for charity. So this is this is a little different because this counts the stuff that we did on Twitch directly. And I want to go look at this real quick to validate. So one, this is incorrect. Um, and I know this is incorrect because I'm looking at my Twitch dashboard right now. We raised uh, over, over the last campaign, the, the, the three month campaign for trans lifeline, we raised $5,135. We also had two weeks in March that we raised money for Trans Lifeline, and that was 2011. Plus, let me see if I can. I'm no mathologist, but that doesn't add up. Uh, let me go look at. Um, oh, what the hell is. Uh... That would make sense. Where's my. And then, okay, so, all right. So looking at the dashboard, we had 5135, 2011 for the March fundraiser and the $500 that we raised for Game Onto in Lupus in May. So let's just do the math here. So this figure is off by almost a thousand dollars, but we raised seven thousand six hundred and forty-six dollars for charity this year. That's several dollars. And if we go through, oh hello, Hiltzy. It was the middle of November. Okay, that that probably explains it then. Um. Then where is? Then we also had the stuff that we did last December. So as of a week ago, the calendar total that we had was $9,815 and 69 cents in, nice. in one year in a, in a single calendar year span between stream anniversary last year, which was at the beginning of December Trans Lifeline in both March and August through November, and Game On to End Lupus in May. We raised almost ten thousand dollars for charity. Um, I was just absolutely like I I didn't think that we would get anywhere near this um, for a while, especially in like the first year of doing charity stuff. Uh, I'm just surprised, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I am. That's what I am surprised, motherfucker. In other words, people donate nearly a dollar twenty-five an hour streamed. That wow, that's faff. That's a hell of a way to look at it, but that math checks out if the hours streamed are correct. So yeah, they should call you Maffin a boot. Nice. Because he mathed, you see? He, he did, in fact, math. Well, well, well done. Well done, Tom. Well done. Thanks. Yeah. So we actually raised, like, over $9,800 for charity uh, over the last year. I just, holy shit, that's a, that's, that's a lot. Um. Yeah. And Hi, it's me, Stan. Nice. Uh we should do it again next year. You wanna do it again next year? Let's do it again next year. Okay, we're gonna do that again I mean, next year. We'll we'll start we'll start in like January something, you know. We won't have to do it now. Well that's good because now it's not next year. Yeah.
We you almost make yourself a liar immediately. We almost had a million channel points spent. Nine hundred ninety-eight thousand eight hundred sixty. If only somebody had the twenty ounce can of cranberry sauce. I don't have a twenty ounce can can of cranberries. They don't make it anymore. Well, wait. They don't make it anymore. Uh, new followers: three hundred and twenty-seven, one hundred two new subscribers, eighty-eight gifted subs, twenty hype trains. That's that's a lot. Um, we do have I do have a follower goal going right now. Um, I do want to try to hit a thousand by the end of the calendar year. I know that's that's a big jump because we're at nine twenty one right now. Um, so I know it's big big jump from where we are, but you know I want to try to shoot for it anyway and see how close we can get. Um, we will probably do stream anniversary beginning of January sometime uh, to coincide with affiliate anniversary, just because we didn't get to do it this like in December this year. Just because everything in the world has been going on and I haven't had time. Uh, yeah, so uh, it might be like a like a stream anniversary slash affiliate anniversary slash New Year kickoff party to bring in 2024. And uh, I'm, I'm going to work on that over the next couple of weeks to figure out what the plan is. But that's kind of what I'm thinking is us having just like a big old... Big old shenanigan shindig for the beginning of the year. So I think that'll be a fun time. Better go fuck yourself 2023 party. Love that too. Uh, played all kinds of co-op. Let's see. Sent 175 raids. Received 119. Got 242 shout outs. People keep shouting me out. I don't know why y'all keep doing that. Stop doing that. That's ridiculous. You're silly. Big tears for fears fans. Oh, that could be it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they think maybe there's just always something on my shirt, and they're trying to help me get it out. No, yeah. my loudest fans in 2023. There's Tay at the top, which yep, that all checks out. Yep, and then there's G. G. I well, he's it says loudest fans, and you know he's one of those Yankees oh, fans Yankees from New York. Fans, yeah, yeah, so you know naturally he's very very loud. Uh, then, oh, wait, then where's Zem? Uh, oh, he's not on here because he's he's. Well, it doesn't get any louder than that. Oh, that no, it says fans. He has to be a fan. He says he hates it here. Oh, yeah, he's okay. he's stinky. He's very stinky. <laughs> Zam is number one stinky boy. But we got Viv and Liz, G Fritz, this fucking guy. I don't know who that guy is. A, a much a much much better Lockhart over here, one that doesn't smell nearly as bad. Karen and of course Louie. So <laughs> and there we go. The Goaty Modi. Ooh. Goaty Modi. I don't think. It's like, woo, it's a goatee modi. Yeah, it doesn't work. But thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> How come? Oh, oh, because they spell I it wrong. It with a rock. <laughs> hey, thanks, Twitch. There we go. So I actually got. Well done, well done, QA team, for <laughs> fixing that. Tom, can you, uh,. Can you can no, you mark that as QA, please? I don't work for free. Oh, what if I? <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. That's it. That's the whole thing. Oh, hey, I got a bonus achievement. I got three bonus achievements. Your bonus achievement, like in my Twitch recap, uh, I got top Twitcher. Uh huh. Uh huh. Means. Everyone, please oh. control yourselves. This is a mature party. And no. God, God damn you ever. God damn you <laughs> ever. Hi, Pascal. Thank you for the raid, Pascal. I got category champion. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. But my favorite one. Majestic moderator. Oh, congratulations on on showing up. 
Majestic. He went live so you could give me... God damn you ever. Oh, according to this, it means... I was in the top 10% of moderators by moderation actions taken during the eligible window of activity. Oh. That means... Basically... All of those bots I was banning out of your... Out of, <laughs> out of the channel. That's that's <laughs> yeah. That counted. Well done. Hi, Let's Pascal. Thank you that. again for the raid. Yay. Ever, you're you're so bad. Ah, uh, very majestic. All right, let's look at my Don't let's look at that. my viewer stats. That's in light mode for some reason. Okay, so I personally watched six thousand hours. That makes a that's that's a little closer to what makes sense for me. Distinct days visited Twitch three hundred and fifty three. That means there were only twelve days this year that I didn't look at Twitch, which actually kind of tracks That's... for me do you ban people with your mind in channels where you're not a mod that's also true yeah oh that did happen yeah you got it for 23 mod actions in one channel 360 mags i don't that's... i don't know how i don't know how to tell you this but that's that's not possible <laughs> <laughs> mags got 366 alka got 366 there were 366 days this year. Thanks. I guarantee that was some UTC bullshit. Let's see. I couldn't get enough of these categories. Just chatting. I was top 10. Look at me. Top 10% of viewers in these categories. Makers and crafting. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in makers and crafting. Retro, food and drink, and Baldur's Gate. I did. I I watched a lot of Lissa playing Baldur's Gate. Where's my? I where's? Do I have a Lissa button? Uh, no. I need. I don't. I don't have a Lissa button here. I'll 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 just do it the old fashioned way. Ew. What? Old fashioned way. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. See, you got emotional for these top emotes. So my number one was, would you love that I used two thousand and seventy six times. The, Christ! I I use that. I use that's more times than it said it was used. <laughs> maybe that was how many times it was used in my channel. Oh. Uh, all 180 hours. Of, yeah, that's that's that tracks faf. Uh, I used the high 1500, the loaf 921, the lull 534, and this half of Captain Hopper's hand and sword, 419 <laughs> times. <laughs> just just I love just like Captain Hopper's just sneaking in here like oh, I'll cut you fuckers. Let's see, I sent twenty one thousand chat messages. Okay, okay, okay. It's the disembodied hand of Captain Hopper. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's what happens. Seen him in a while. That's true, <laughs> that's true. Uh I ate, gifted eighty two subs. I contributed to sixty five hype trains. Yeah, I had to slow down on gift subs in the second half of the year. It's all right. Why? Because I quit my what job happened? like an idiot. Oh. Yeah. Silly Tokyo. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Let's see, chat sent as a mod 150. Where am I a mod? Here? Does it count you as a mod for your own channel? No, because I'm the streamer. Well, then how the fuck should I know? Where am I a mod? Cracko? Oh, I'm a mod on the Nivenly channel i know that one. Oh, okay anyway let's see top twitcher category champion and majestic mod hey i got majestic moderator too hi louie fun being majestic yeah faf that's yeah faf that's that's one of them chat badge unlocked you were a top user. Own it. Show off your super excellent shiny new badge in chat. Look, I have a look at my badge. Oh, well, I've got one of those too. Yeah, ninety percent of mods don't do shit. My mods don't do shit. Let's see, my most How watched dare channel. You? I'm power watching Santa's workshop. You, you don't fucker. do anything. I'm literally power watching a workshop here. How is that not doing anything? You don't do anything here. Those bots didn't ban themselves. Oh my god, I'm... You're a 
you're a banned bot. Uh, nine being my most watched channel, absolutely fucking tracks for me. Um, with 609 hours, holy shit, that's a lot. Um, and I, boy, I sent, I spent a lot of fucking points in her channel. Uh, yes, Hilti, he is power washing Santa's balls. Um, let's see. Tug is my number two, which all, yeah, this all tracks. Uh, Lissa, Matt, and I watch Luna quite a bit too. Again, this is, this is, this is part of my serial lurking behavior. Cause like, if all five of these people are streaming at the same time, which in some instances they are, I will have all five open and just have the tabs muted. Do I want more mod experience ever? Please. No, God, you don't want that. You don't want that. I assure you. You have 1,339 hours in tugs. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I would have had more in tugs stream if it weren't for work. Like, honestly. That's why he quit. Yeah. So I could watch tug in the mornings. 30 of your views are in the 24 seven channel you work on. That sounds about right. Alka. Yep. Tug was your number two. Yeah. Tug was number one for me. Let's see. Uh, let's let's start throwing some shout outs. Uh, we'll do one four nine because she's because she's right there. We're gonna do another one for Tug. Tug is just a nice chill time, you know, until he catches himself on fire and goes, no, 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 no. It's really great to watch him do that. No, 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 no. And then he runs into a house and then the house catches on fire. It's fantastic. Um, That's my favorite clip on this entire website. <laughs> yeah. Um, nine, of course, if you've been around here for any length of time, you know, 9.5. Nine is fantastic. She is a crafter. She does a lot of fiber art, um, crocheting, knitting, that kind of thing. Um, she is, uh, she's Twitch mom. And she also accosted me at TwitchCon this year. Um, so. And she would like you to know that no one expects the land boat. Nobody expects the land boat. It's true. That honestly, Ellie, that tracks that, that I can, I imagine that was probably the case. Your first non board game stream you watched when he played Stardew for the first time for a Christmas exchange. Oh, wow. That's that's boy. That's been a hot minute, huh? Um, deep cuts deep, right? Right. I think, I think my first, uh, my first exposure to Tug was the Shoei when Tom sent that to me. And I'm like, well, I gotta watch this guy. Uh, close to 200 hours? Holy shit. That's, that's a lot of hours. Um, Lissa, Lissa also streams during the day. She's in the UK now. She used to be here in the States, actually in central Florida, um, not too far from us. Yeah, Ali Beth, he drank out of a shoe. As a uh, as a community challenge, he, he so a shoey is an Australian custom, wherein they'll like basically take a shot out of a shoe. Mm -hmm. Why is this? I don't know. Because Australia, and anyhow, he did uh, a charity stream, and one of the overall goals was that he would do a shoey on stream. If yeah, they hit X goal. It was for uh, to write love on her arms, yeah. which is a wonderful charity. Yep. If you ever get the chance to look that one up. Yep. And so, uh, Tug is sober. If you don't, if you didn't know him, he's he's a sober man. Mm -hmm. So instead of drinking the uh, customary Australian beverage out of the shoe, he drank muscle milk. Out he of did. The shoe. He sure did. Oh. He did not clean the shoe out first. Nope. And there was grass in it. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, it was. Oh, it was gnarly. Oh, the whole experience was gnarly. Yeah. Faf, this is a terrible mistake, and I will make sure to make you regret it later. Yes, wife boat actually served him with a divorce paper immediately after the shoey. Um. So, but Tug never signed it, so he just laughs about it now. Um. You don't use a clean shoe for a shoe. Well, why, why would you? Well, then in that case, he did it correctly. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um, that's he, it. According to very recently, 
so he still owns the shoe. It's been in storage, and he says he never cleaned it after the shoey. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what that uh, I wonder what that storage unit smells like this week with him moving shit around. I'll bet it's not majestic. I bet it's not. Moving shit around, it probably smells like shit. Probably. Uh, it was rugby players that started and used the shoe they wore during the game. That sounds like a very rugby player thing to do. Yeah. He's going Holy to find Australia. that smelly ass shoe. He probably. So this is that's a great segue. Speaking of to write love on her arms, um, our dear buddy Mount Calder, um, Matt streams mornings as well, and uh, a charity that is very near and dear to Matt is to write love on her arms. So um, go check out Matt. You can watch him yell at video games. Um, he, he yells at them a lot, but not like in a Zam Canadian way, more like in a, well, just a Matt way. That's the best way I can think to destri- describe it is just in a Matt way. Yeah. But then we all yell about stuff together and it's, it's happy family yelling time. It's great. It's fantastic. A triple shoey with Mikey and wife boat. You know, wife boat's okay, not good. Okay, fine, but I... I want wife both to do hers out of a crook. That's, oh, that's, yeah. Uh, I did the shout out for Lissa earlier. Um, again, Lissa's, she's, uh, she's a variety streamer. She did, she just did like a big old Baldur's Gate 3 run. Um, today she was playing Ooblets, which was fucking adorable. And I might have to play that at some point. That was great. Yeah, you'd love it. Um, like, now that like they've had the, well, okay. so sport it's, mode or not in sport mode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, dealer's choice says I dealer's choice. <laughs> oh, it re- was a day one early access game pass game. So they, uh, they went through the whole development process within game pass. Boy, that's, that's how you get fucking telemetry, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you know, for free uh, it yeah was like right around the time like uh, there was a couple of them that all went at the same time i think astroneer was one mm. astroneer is such uh, a good game slime rancher slime rancher 2 maybe well done louie well done slime rancher 2 is one that i still want to play as well that's on my that's on my to be played list but i haven't done I did quite day yet one but then i was like no i need to quit I need to wait for this one to go full release. Because mm, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. what they had on day one was, it almost felt more like Slime Rancher 1 DLC. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't yeah. different enough to slap a two on it, it to me. And gotcha. So I was like, this just needs, this needs a minute. You didn't like it as much as the first one? I loved the first one. The first one is great. I'm like, I want to play two just to, I mean, cause it's, it's on game pass. So like, why not? Um, slime rancher doesn't have enough story for you. That's fair. Mags. That's fair. Oh, good. Ellie. Good. Yeah. Louis has been at his PC for three straight days. I know this because he's been streaming Minecraft for three straight days. The unravel Is games. He... No, not yet. I haven't. That's on the list too. But is he happier playing Minecraft than he ever was playing Overwatch? Infinitely. And b- having lurked in this, in his streams for the last three days, watching him play Minecraft, he has been infinitely happier playing Minecraft versus playing Overwatch. And then fuck it, let him cook. I, I, gen- I, gener- I genuinely love that for him. Um, massively. Massively. Uh, and I'll go ahead and shout out Luna, too. Um... Luna, we don't get to see terribly often. Um, she's also UK based. She streams during the day. Yet yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Louis's been streaming camera on and everything. Um, but Luna is. She's a pretty good chill time. She's she's a she's a quirky little goth moth, and she's she just likes to have fun with stuff. She plays. She likes thriller and horror stuff, but she's played a lot of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy and stuff of that nature. Actually, I think she's playing she's playing one of the Final Fantasy 13s right now. I don't remember what like where it falls in the series like the Lightning Returns thing. I don't know. I don't know where that falls in line. I don't know. 
I don't know. It's this like, sounds like a lollipop it's question. It's like thirteen three or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, uh, if it's not fourteen. I don't know shit about Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's true. Um, God damn it! What good are you? Final Fantasy I've fourteen. Been I think he's for like thirty four years. I now. think he was very clear about it being Final Fantasy uh, fourteen. Anyway, um, but yeah, Luna's Luna's a, an absolute delight, and she's she's a very wonderful moth. And, um, very, very silly fun times, but like low key, it's nice. The hours for nine. Yeah. I've watched 609 hours of nine, which I think is hilarious. Should I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a screenshot and just send this to her. Excuse me while I do that real quick. Oh, me while I whip this out. <laughs> I watched that not terribly long ago. Where's where's my DMs with nine? I'm gonna send this over here to her. And then I'm gonna go like this. Just like that. Uh, we're watching Santa's workshop. Uh, we're watching Santa's workshop. I just, I took the screenshot of the whole thing and I sent her just the hours watched and then I went like this. I went <laughs> <laughs> like that in chat. Um, uh, Betsy, refresh my memory. What did I say? <laughs> um, pardon me while I whip this out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We think you'd like this clip. Okay, listen, listen. I love that it's a clip of nine. The queen of balls. Oh my God. Let's watch this. Queen of balls. Mm. <laughs> That's it. Just queen of <laughs> balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's that's precious. I love that. I'm gonna send that to her as well. Mine was uh, Tug setting himself on fire in uh, Dinkum, oh, walking that's... out of his tent first thing in the morning, and immediately walking into the campfire that for some reason was set up directly in front of the entrance to his tent. That's great. I love that. That one's a fantastic one. Is that? Oh, that one. Okay. All right. We're gonna. We're just gonna. We're just yeah, gonna... that's the one. That's that's exactly the one. And I need. <laughs> oh, perfect. No notes. Uh. <laughs> Not like, a word. Like the struggle, Max. Just the struggle. Not a single word. <laughs> oh, hi, Liz. Oh. <laughs> Just, Just chef's kiss. Not a single word. Oh. Fantastic. I love that one so much. Uh, Liz, we were going over the recap, the uh, the Twitch recap. Let me go back to. There's the streamer one for everyday hustling. Look, Liz, look, Liz, you're on my. Uh... Also, Liz, first of all, thank you for gifting a sub to Batsy. Second of all, Liz, look at you. Look at you at the top of my loudest fans this year. Have you checked your Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so there's my there's my stream my creator recap and let's look at the community one. Let's see what this is all about. High scores. Is this like the overall service stuff? Yeah. So 104.7 million views of stories, which honestly is kind of impressive considering stories launched like what? Two months ago, not even two months ago. 
500, half a million new affiliates, 6,300 new partners, two point, almost 2.2 2 million tags used, which, like, uh, a lot of it is just like, mm, eh, mm, I don't know. A lot of them are misspellings of the same tag. Yeah, yeah. I, can I, will this work? I don't know if this will work with that URL format. No, it won't. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can make that work real quick. Oh, I don't know. I just clicked the. Uh, there's a share button on the clip. Yeah, for some of the clips, it uses like the old URL format. Let's see. Um, custom. I wonder if this, let me try something here. Um, what are, yeah, that might work. Ice bear needs it for everyday hustling. Oh works. shit! Liz, holy shit, Liz! Thank you for gifting five subs. Holy shit! Uh, Quite war generous of you, Liz. War bear, flamingo, Cracko. Cracko. Uh, Corin. Oh, Liz, damn it! And Sydney. <laughs> wow, Liz, you, listen, you, Liz, you got so close, and then we got a Cracko sub. Damn it! Let's have seen capitalized Just and uncapitalized. Yeah. Just kidding, Liz. We appreciate it. Liz, thank you so much. Love you bunches. You know. I wonder... Where's my, uh... Fetch me my thinking grenades. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Um I wonder if it'll work now. Probably not. I probably did the, the regex wrong and I don't care. Oh you do not get set aflame by No you do, 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 you do. Stop drop and roll. Stop drop and roll. Why is the fire not going out? Why is the fire not going out? Why is the fire not going out? Wait! Run into the house. Ah no, don't run into the house! No 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 no! Oh. <laughs> oh, and that's what it's like to watch a tugboat stream so um if you're not if you're not watching tugboat if you're not following tugboat please do so he's that's he's an absolute goddamn delight one of my favorite moments in all of streaming history. Yeah, that's when he sets himself on fire and he thinks walking into the wooden house is a good idea to help put out the fire. Oh, that's great. These emotes were a hit. All right. Almost 50 billion chats were sent. Yes, that's the same person that's on the watch clip. Yes, that is that is the that is the watch guy. Yeah, uh, Pernt, would you would you like to? I know it's your favorite thing to do around here, Pernt. Please be my guest. I thought her favorite thing to do was to tell you to eat shit. You barely exceeded expectations. That's, all right, I've that's, got a watch. What does the watch? What does the watch do? 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 Honestly, the, the watch background do? of this is just yeah. Chef's kiss. What does yeah. the watch do? 
This oh, beautiful of goats. So pretty. You, so you pretty. may have noticed that Goat Simulator Three is now on Game Pass. I I have noticed that. I sure have. Because you sure had a hell of a good time when you streamed the first Goat Simulator. I did. I did, and I'm I'm thinking so, about doing that one. Uh, I would like to see you having fun. One though, I hear I hear it's pretty bad. Oh, the second one's awful. Yeah. Yeah. So bad. Yeah, people it don't even, even talk about it anymore. Mm. Yeah. Like I hear they released it for four days and then just shut it down. That's. Oh wait, sorry. That's a different game. That's. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, peak viewers. Someone had two hundred six thousand concurrent viewers. That's. Yeah. Uh. Probably Amaran. Uh no, uh, Cutie Cinderella actually. Well, let's see. This is the Latin America one, Asia Pacific, the EMEA. Oh, now that is some hidden dirt that requires we go. washing powerfully. Some all together, goat farm truck sim all in one. God. That's just woof. Anyway, yeah. thank you all for this. Um, uh, that's I don't know I don't know Ludwig either. So I'm I'm eighty. Um, Beethoven. No, that's the dog from the movies with Charles Grodin in them. Oh. Yeah. Wait, is that the piano guy? No, 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 no. You're thinking of Mozart. No, I was thinking of Billy Joel. No, 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 no. That's Rock Me Amadeus. <laughs> I thought that, I thought that was the musical with, from the Planet of the Apes. No, no. You're thinking <laughs> that's Doctor Zayas. It's very different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Formerly the most subscribed Twitch streamer who moved to ah, got to the point where it's only you two that know what's going on anymore. Uh. Well, that's two more people than I thought we had, so... Uh, well, uh, Fritz, uh, Twitch has been doing this recap for a few years now. Um, Ludwig is the guy on the airship and Piper... Oh, that's the one. Oh, I was... Sorry, I was thinking of... Uh, I was thinking of... Of Lemmy. Um, was it, isn't Ludwig the bad guy in one of the Naked Gun movies, too? Maybe I don't know. <gasps> that reminds me, Bean and yeah, I the first still. One. Is it the first one? Bean and I have to go and watch. Uh, I don't think we've. I th I still don't think she's watched two and a half or thirty three and a third. Oh, I thought she was like obsessed. She loved the first one. We just never like got to, around to watching the other two. Oh man. I know. I know. Love that. God damn Love it, that Lockhart! To experience that for the first time. What? The Mick find out. <laughs> Thing, I posted that. Things, <laughs> things you find, things you find in the random channel in my Discord. If you're not in the Discord, <laughs> uh, this is what you're missing out on. This is it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you don't know about Naked Gun, Fritz. Fritz the Naked Gun movies from the files of Police Squad with Lieutenant Frank Drebin. Um, it's uh, Leslie Nielsen. My God, Sandrock or Dinkum? Um, oh, to play? Um, have you played either before? I really want to play Dinkum. Like it's it's been on my list for a little bit now. I really want to play. And if the answer is no to both of those, did you play Porsche? Hmm. Okay. So Sandrock will have some familiarity. Yeah, um, I'm. I gotta finish Porsche too. Dinkum will play more like Animal Crossing without the obnoxious time gating. Mm, love, love a non-obnoxious time gating. Hey, the Firebot Nightly didn't run. 
Let's go look and see why. Because you touch yourself at night. The F6? Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten with I've gotten that way with a number of early access games, Megs. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Dinkum is still not 1.0 yet? No. Oh. It's only one guy. Oh, I didn't know it was just... It's only one guy? It's only one guy. I could make a game. Sure. You I'm, definitely could. I mean, it'll, it'd be like fucking Concerned Ape and take me like eight years to make it, but I could make a game. Bailey made a game. Ooh. Yeah, but Bailey Bailey's is... never coded anything before. Bailey's not human, I'm convinced. He is... He's like... He's somewhere up here, man. I think One guy. Holy about shit. A bear. Wait, I thought Core Keeper. I th I could have sworn Core Keeper hit 1.0. No, next year. God damn it. They do have. They have a date for it, I think. I actually have Core Keeper. Core Keeper, I have. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm waiting. That one I bought when it was to. on sale a while back. Um. Okay, but I gotta come up. Okay, but Louie, I gotta come up with what it would be first. I don't know what it would be. I don't know. I, I don't know. All these games you play because of Mags. Mags is a bad influence. Mags just rolls up and be like, hey, did you play this game yet? You should play this game and just. And that's how it goes. It didn't core keep your attention. It didn't keep her core attention. Um. It literally does not matter, God. I'm going to create a new game specifically for Louie called Above View. And it will be a definitely not an arena style shooting game. No, I've never. It's an Overwatch joke, you see. All right, let's see. Why? What broke in the Windows build? A little of this, a little of that. You broke because of the fucking temporary file? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You shouldn't have temporary files then, have you ever considered that? Your face is a temporary file. Wow. I know. Yeah. That's inappropriate. Yeah, well, I said Tote. it. <laughs> Totes in a propes. Top secret for an oldie but great. Oh wow. Top secret. There's one I hadn't heard of in a while. That's been a mm. that's been a long time. Oh, well, that was a below me joke. That's also good faff. I like that too. It's a bathtub sim where Louis just looking for one to fit. Yeah, just just like fucking eight bit like old DOS style game where like extremely tall Scottish man walks around with his his can of haggis looking searching for the bathtub <laughs> that he could actually sit in and spread are his legs. One are any of these one Louis Long? <laughs> yeah, all of the bathtubs have measurements in Louis. I just assume that's like their. Standard of measurement. Louis, no, don't like do that. You're better than that. Metric. I'll take metric that check. Imperial <laughs> and Louis. Please send you a link. Yeah. Louis is going to have like, there's just going to be like a fucking, some barge just pulls up, just pulls up to fucking the UK and all that's on it is a bathtub that's long enough for Louis to stretch his legs and that's it. That's it. That's and the whole thing. And then all the sailors get off of the bathtub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Louis' bathtub is in dry dock. God. That's that's incredible. That's fantastic. Love that. So I've Love been it. thinking about what, what is my game of the year. And so my character, my, uh, my requirements. I, it's like this. Fair. The game has to be in 1.0. Okay. And I have to have played it for the first time this year. It doesn't necessarily have to have been released this year. 
So it's more like a, what did I enjoy most this year? Anyway, I believe the crown is going to go to against the storm. Ooh. Okay. So here's, okay. Let's go. Mine is going to shock everybody and it's going to be a surprise and no one's going to have seen it coming. At all. Hmm. How many hours of Mass Effect did you play this year? First of all, I, I know, I know oh, it's Mass not. Mass Effect didn't come out this year. Did it? Did it so, come out last year? Legendary Edition's been out for at least two years. Several years, yeah. Has it really? Yeah. yeah. But it's only March of 2020. I know. Oh my God. Okay. Well, then never mind. Now let me ask you this. How many no, times it's, it's Starfield. Yeah, I know. That's that's yeah, right. yeah, that's that's Lolly's game of the year. How many times has Elena come up behind you and just tapped you on the shoulder and scared you with your VR headset on? Uh several. <laughs> Fantastic. Because once again it's Resident Evil 4. For the second time in my life, that's, it's Resident Evil 4. That's fair. There was some some competition for me. Uh, we had Sandrock this year. We had Backpack Hero. One point, there's been a bunch, but at like a hundred very enjoyable hours. So and counting against the storm is good. Given the choice, Sand Rock or Coral Island? Power Wash Sim was for me last year. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, Sand Rock because Coral Island still needs some more time in the oven. There's just a lot of bugs that are yeah. shorting the game out. Yeah, <laughs> like, although I still... There are people losing save files right now. I, I Although I haven't on. finished... Uh, I haven't finished... Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, Porsche yet. I need to do that. But Sand Rock, probably. I've been watching a lot of Sand Rock. Like, not just lately, just like over the course of the last several months. Like, uh, I've been watching, Ever's been playing it. Uh, I watched Zorro to play a bunch of it. Uh, I watched Tug play a bunch of it. Like, I've been watching a lot of Sand Rock. So, it's San yeah. It's terrific. It's very long. Yeah. So so be sure that you're ready for a very long game. That's fair. That's fair. I got to go back and finish Moonstone Island too, speaking of long games. Um Power Wash Sim for me was this year was the year of power like Power Wash Sim is great. Do not get me wrong, like it was it was amazing when it came out. Power Wash Sim has been great since it got released. Okay? But this year I got back to the future DLC. I got to clean the DeLorean. I got to clean the train. Like, holy shit. You got, not only did you get back to the future DLC, you got good back to the future DLC. I did. I got like, like, and that's the thing, right? Like power wash sim is one of those things where if they tell you, if, if you hear that there's going to be DLC for power wash sim, that's something you immediately get excited about because you know, one, it's going to be high quality and two, they're going to get the little details, right? Like it's extremely detailed and they always get the little details, right? And they do it so well. Um, and just, Oh, Oh, I was the, they did such a good job. The, like literally the only, the only th problem that I had, with the Back to the Future DLC was that they weren't able to get the licensing to put the name badge on the front of the DeLorean. Like and that's, that's the that, nittest of picks. Right. And that's like that's not even something that they had any, really any control over. Like I'm sure, I'm certain that they did their best to get that and they just weren't able to. Like I get it. Um uh like I'm just oh Oh, it's, it's, it's so, so, so good. 
Like, listen, the Back to the Future DLC for Power Wash Sim. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 might have been game of the year, and like from everything I've seen, incredibly well deserved. <laughs> um, but for me personally, just and even with all the things that I've seen, um, because there's been a lot of add on DLC kind of content that's come out this year, that Back to the Future DLC, like hands down, number one for me. So, I'll so that well DLC done. of the year, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, just fantastic. Just love it, love it, love it. Um, Paleo, I'm just, I'm honestly, Faf, I'm kind of paleoed out. Uh, I'm, I got to a point to where, like, I know there's been a lot of new content that's come out, but they have had so many issues with stuff in the last fucking, I don't know, month and a half, two months now where i'm just like no i i i'm i don't want to go anywhere near paleo like i feel like they have been so focused on the switch release that the game as a whole is suffering for it <clears throat> like good good on them for getting on the switch like great because switch is of of the three console platforms Switch is by far the hardest to actually all go through and get all the certification process and all that shit done for. Um, just because Nintendo is so strict about that shit, right? But you were doing this entirely too soon. Like, your game isn't stable. People aren't able to update the game. They're not able to launch the game and you're already going to another platform with its own set of problems and challenges. Like that's just, it's too soon. Yeah. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You, it, it's, it's exactly what it is. Like, it's just not like that's, it's, that's, that's over ambitious. I think it's not even that there's been like, Oh, this was a rough release. Whoopsie doodles. Like, they don't get better. Like every fucking release seems to be worse than the one before it. Yeah. Like it's, it's been really, really rough. It's been very, like, very rough. I have too many things <clears throat> competing for my time for me to sit around and wait for you to get your shit together. Yeah. Like, and that's, and that's kind of the thing, right? You know, we are, we are living in an era where, there is no shortage of games, good games to play. There are so many good games that are coming out every single week and month. And if you have this kind of fuck up where you get a bad reputation early on, that sets you onto a really bad path. Like that's a bad, bad path. And it's hard to recover from that. And I'm very concerned that they're not going to be able to recover well from this. Just don't see the friction when you log in. Things are okay. And for, and for you, Faf, they, they could be. And for a lot of people, I'm sure, you know, they're not having the issues that everyone else is having, but a ton of people have been having, like I've heard all kinds of folks having issues with not getting updates, the launcher being borked, even if they like uninstall and reinstall. Um, not being able to log into their account, just all kinds of just weird stuff. And like, I get it. It's, it's a very early game, but again, if you're going to be that ambitious to go from PC onto a platform as kind of tightly locked down as the switch, it's just, it's too soon for that. That should have, well, that should have been a next Christmas luck. thing, you know? So uh, do Christmas. I hope they succeed? Give Absolutely. My port. <laughs> like I, I have, I legitimately hope they succeed. I just, I fear that they I have would love for them to get it all together and yeah, like entice me to play again. Yeah. I had a great time, but I'm just, I'm not just going to sit around and yeah. Yeah. No. Um, so fingers crossed. If you can pay to send your partners gift baskets. So you could probably put more time in this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing too, right, is the things that seem like they always consistently work are the 
the purchasable things. And it's like, that's fine. I understand you need income. I understand you need cash flow. Um, but also you can't just neglect the rest of the game and focus your highest priority being on the things that just make you money because all of that auxiliary stuff is going to turn people off and then they're not going to pay for anything. It only takes one bad apple to spoil the bunch. If one person has an issue, it becomes a problem for a lot of people and then boom, massive issue. That's also true. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly, Faf. They're they're just they're they're going too fast. They need to they need to slow it down. Just slow it down. Like it'll be fine. People will people will play the game. You just like for me, for instance, okay. Final Fantasy XIV is a perfect example of this. There are times when Final Fantasy XIV doesn't have new, like, big content for months and months and months at a time. It's a massive game. I get that. It, you know, there's a lot of resources and time and effort that goes into a game like fourteen. I mean, we're in one of those windows right now. Right, there's exactly. An expansion, so there's nothing to do. Exactly. So, but they understand that there will be people that will, they will stop for a while. And then they will come back, right? Um, so that's fine. Your players will be patient. 14 has a reputation. Thankfully, they were able to recover from all of their 1.x stuff. Okay. Um, so they... Well, they never had a version 1.0 that... That, uh, <laughs> that never been... happened. Yeah, exactly. So like that they, was retconned. yeah, that it was it, it, that like it literally was right. So, um, like, thankfully, fourteen was able to recover, and now fourteen has a reputation for being such a high quality game that they know one people will come back to play it, and two they understand that people are going to not subscribe for for like sometimes months at a time, waiting for new stuff because there's just not new stuff right now. And like Palea, I get it. They don't have subscriptions, so their their cash flow is different because it is all just cosmetic stuff, um, and they're a much smaller team, etc. But like, you gotta slow down. You gotta just relax a little bit. Hit the brakes. People will come back. They will play your game as long as you they know that you're providing them with a good quality experience. And here lately, it hasn't been that. And I'm just, I'm concerned that that's going to be the reputation that sticks. So, not healthier when the game was something people want to, exactly, Faf, exactly. People got spoiled on 20 years of WoW. I mean, for some people, sure, Fritz. But on the other hand, again, there are so many games out now. And, like... One, games are, it, there's, a, there's a much lower barrier to entry for creating games than there used to be, right? Like, there are all kinds of engines, free ones, open source ones, like there's, there's options. And the tools have gotten easier to use because, you know, people who are making these things at like a high, high budget level want to make life easier on themselves. And so you know, it's making it easier for everybody else to get into it. Plus the people that make these engines and license them, they also want more people making games and selling games so that they can make residuals off of that stuff. Right. That's what it's Plus, about. I would, I would argue that, uh, you know, the regular cadence that we have gotten out of world of Warcraft over the last, like, I don't know, decade, like half the time that it's been out, hasn't necessarily been healthy for it. No, that's, they have pushed to try and make things get out faster and it has made the game worse. That's also they've, true. They've only like in the last expansion actually like gotten to a point with the game where it is actually, people are enjoying themselves again. Mm -hmm. And, um, they're just now talking about getting back onto a regular cadence and seeing if they can give it another shot now that they have kind of gutted all of the weird keep people logging in crap all the time. Yeah, there are, you're right. There are a bunch of like bad small games now, 
But on the flip side of that, there are so many really good small games that we wouldn't have gotten 10, 15, 20 years ago. Um, and even looking at some of the, you know, triple a games, the high budget games like have been in the last few years have honestly been incredibly lackluster. Look Pass. at, yeah. Like Starfield Starfield is like the general consensus on Starfield is shrug. Like it's okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just okay. That one was massively overhyped. Ex too. It was, yeah. And it's like, like you, you guys have said it. Other people I've heard say it. It's one of those things. Like, Starfield is a game specifically geared towards people who really like, like those games like bethesda right bethesda games right yeah yeah, the, yeah it's like a it's a bethesda like game Howard, and it is it is that and nothing more it is like, it is a bethesda game you got what you got out of that yes yeah um todd howard in space <laughs> starfield was probably going to feel great until bg3 launched alongside of it that's i mean that's part of it like bg3 came out and it had a lot of years to cook and it was like it came out and it was really good and were there issues yeah and they fixed those like they were the the turnaround on patching for bg3 has been just lightning fast um Star starfield also suffered from one of the um things that i have a genuine concern about for a lot of AAA games going forward and that's their incessant need on having such high graphical fidelity yeah that they're leaning heavily borderline mandatory on upscalers like dlss yeah and starfield didn't ship with dlss because they got in bed with amd and didn't because of that yeah it has it now but it didn't now at launch and that was a problem right i have a 3070 ti that game shouldn't have ran as bad as it did for yeah me. yep yet here we are Untitled Goose Game 3090. I love that's true. Have you tried it with a 3090? I I have I know a guy with a 3090. Uh, I I I get the joke, but also the 3090 also wouldn't have helped all that much because it leans into frame gen, which is a 40 series actually yeah. Yeah. thing. I, I I know I'm doing that, but like, but you're not. <laughs> but you're not wrong <laughs> though. Like, I'm being like, serious about it because it's a genuine concern of mine about things going forward. No, absolutely, absolutely. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Like, uh, okay, Fritz, Untitled Goose Game. Just, I fucking love that game. It's so good. Um, Are making another one of those? Uh, I don't know. I have I haven't heard. I uh, think so. Are, we're getting or it's just the company making another game. No, the, I think they're making a co-op goose game. Well, they have co-op mode in Untitled Goose Game. That be Untitled like, Geese Game. Untitled they're Geese like Game. Making a whole new one designed around it. I think. Ooh. That's what I'm seeing. Well, I got to get that. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um, but like that's the thing, you know. Like, yeah, we want games that look good, but we want games that are fucking playable. Like. I want a game that's playable. I just, uh, but well, like, I you, want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. Okay, that's not the first cake song that I've heard today, <laughs> is it, Lolly? <laughs> if you had a nickel, if I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every cake song that I've heard today, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? <laughs> function over aesthetic any day yeah and like look at again like look at a lot of the games that hell that i've been playing like moonstone island moonstone island isn't like fucking some ridiculously high shader count like you know ray traced fucking you know realistic bullshit it's fucking pixel art backpack hero is pixel art and it's it's beautiful and it plays and they're great and I love them. Plays really nice on the Steam Deck too. Yeah, man. Like that's you know, and that's the thing. It's it all comes back to accessibility, doesn't it? Stardew Valley. 
Like it all comes back to accessibility, doesn't it? We want games to be accessible to people. We want people to be able to play the goddamn game. And accessibility isn't just things like, you know, captions and and like certain sound settings and things like that. Like Minecraft. Minecraft is Minecraft is the best selling game of all time. All time. It surpassed Tetris, right? Minecraft, a blocky voxely game, surpassed Tetris, a pixely game. For the like you know what I the best selling game of all time. And is it like Again, are, are there like parts of Minecraft that you can make pretty and realistic looking? You can, but out of the box, is it? No, no. But you know what? People like it anyway because it works and it's fun. That's what people want. I'm still a memory hog because it's Java. I'm sorry. I only play Bedrock. It's optimized. It's built in C++. I'm just saying, <clears throat> Java 1 is still... Still a memory hog. It is. It is. That's that's the, in fairness. That's not Minecraft's fault. That's Java's fault. That's just Minecraft's just showing up in the vehicle it was built on top of. Uh, you know. All this being said, though, um, Capcom. I don't know what wizard they sucked off to create the RE engine, but that has the best of both worlds in like ninety nine percent of. Of scenarios the, the, it looks fantastic and runs great and i don't know how they did it capcom has john carmack changed to a basement somewhere being like build our engine for us <laughs> you're done with headsets you're done now We're, you're back to game engines get to work <laughs> they threaten to break his glasses or some shit i don't know <laughs> oh need those to see <laughs> but like that's the thing right like there are there are games that are in like this year this year was a year of re-releases like we had a, a lot of like remastered stuff in the last this year and last year last couple of years like resident evil 4 resident evil 4 got re-released this year in a couple of different formats and like it's Lolly, you're you are our expert. You are our resident expert on Resident Evil, especially RE4. Like that game. You know, Never have I needed anything more in my life and not known it until I received it? Like how how uh, how much have you enjoyed it? How well built has this game it was been? Very good. See, it was very good. And that's that's the thing. You like people want a game that's well built the original Mar super mario rpg came out for switch i've heard nothing but good things about that okay correct tears of the kingdom came out it was in qa for a solid year they were code complete for a year and nintendo said wait we have to make sure this works well and they did and i have not heard a single negative thing about tears of the kingdom all I have Imagine seen this. and heard about this game is about how fun it is, how creative you can be in it, and how much people are enjoying playing this game. That Imagine. one, to, to be fair, to be um, give, give, give it about another six months and then you'll, you'll start hearing it. Zelda games have this, especially like the, the Breath of the Wild had this too, where it will get... It has a shelf life. This, this, this sick. Well, not even a shelf life, but just the cyclical circle jerk of it's bad, but now it's good, but it's great, but now it's bad, but now it's great, but now it's bad, and they'll just argue in circles about it. It's why I don't pay attention to the Zelda community all that much because they have no clue what what they like and what they don't. No, of course they don't. Of course they don't. Listen, it's 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 that it's that relationship between Nintendo and its fans, right? No one, yeah. no one hates their fans as much as Nintendo. And no one hates the thing that they're a fan of more than Nintendo fans do. It's mm -hmm. it's just the way it's been since the 80s. Uh, QA, quality assurance. Basically testing and validating that things work the, the way they should and that things no. don't break when you try to fuck them up. The whole reason I exist. Tom. Yeah, yes, yeah. Tom. That's, that's what Tom does. That's been his life for several years now is quality It'll assurance. Be a decade Tom next year. God is it for three is, things? Oh God, it is to fart, to eat potatoes, and to tell you your shit's broke. Yeah, that's true. It, the and thing to hold hands with Allie Beth. Well, also, yeah, four <laughs> things. <laughs> faff, faff. I mean, honestly, like they very well may not have like dedicated QA folks because they're a small group. 
the official fuck around and find out. That's right. Yes, Tom is development is the fuck around. Tom is the find out. I'll tell you uh, what. At, at work, uh, our QA is actually like you stop that Elizabeth. around for more than like three days before they quit now, and it's actually been great. And yeah, I love it. And yeah, it's been fantastic to have them around. Yep, I you know that's one of the things that I I miss is being able to work with that group because I was really excited to work with them and get them like all kind of cohesively working on everything. But you know, the Metroid on this Nintendo wanted to do it right. And then when prime came out, yeah, like Metroid prime came out and everybody loved prime. Then the prime remaster came out this year or was it, was it this year? Was it like the tail end of last year? Was it like this time I think last? It was year? early this year because it, it just came out. In, I think it was like maybe March because it just came out of nowhere. They were just like, "Oh, hey, by the way, here, have this." I'll remaster your face, nine. Oh, too late. It's already the best. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> release World Star Hip Hop. Oof. Uh, <laughs> wrecked. Nine point five. Hi, nine. We were talking mad shit about you earlier. We were saying lots of really, really bad things about you. Just so many bad things about you. Nobody expects the land boat. That's true. Nobody expects the land boat. Fuck it. No, 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 no. Nine. Nine. Reverse. Reverse. With, with, every, with every ounce of love that I can muster in my tiny little ice bear heart. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh the bear has spoken oh hey Will. wow we're almost two hours in oh nobody expects the spanish inquisition just like the land boat i tried to leave it for someone else this time because i got a whole bunch of sass last time i redeemed it that's true you well, did you redeemed it like you did redeem it like yeah exactly <laughs> No, I didn't. I waited like an hour and a half. Oh, shut up. That was the... Whatever. <clears throat> and now, the wisdom of the girls. From a chapter entitled, Accept and Respect People for Who They Are, I read, Sophia, Jean is a lesbian. Blanche, what's funny about that? Sophia, you aren't surprised? Blanche, of course not. I mean, I've never known any personally, but isn't Danny Thomas one? Dorothy, not Lebanese, Blanche. Lesbian. And this <laughs> has been the wisdom of the girls. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> that is Bean's favorite scene in the entire series. When Blanche immediately after goes, lesbian. 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 <laughs> Isn't that when one woman? Yeah, we already know what it means, Blanche. <laughs> well, well, Jean's a very attractive woman. She could have any man she wants. She doesn't want she them. Doesn't want them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's at night. I was about to say that. That's perfect. That you show up. Faf redeems the 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 wisdom from the girls, and it's that scene because Danny Thomas is the founder of Saint Jude, and Nine is currently doing her end of the year fundraiser for Saint Jude Children's Hosp Research Hospital. Um, and his brother is the founder of the Baconator. That's not no. Stop that. That's, none of that is true. That's that, that's not even close. About the topic to Dave Thomas. God damn it, Tom. Yeah, he makes a good argument. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He... I choose to believe Tom based on no evidence. <laughs> Great. Great. That was That's your first exactly mistake. what I was hoping for. Thank you. <laughs> the founder of the Baconator at St. Thomas. <laughs> like the island? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, nine's doing a fundraiser. Sorry. No, it's Carry fine. It's fine. Fundraiser speak. Nine, nine is nine is doing her end of the year fundraiser for uh, Saint Jude Children's Research Hospital. For those of you who don't know, uh, Danny Thomas did found Saint Jude's. Uh, they they are a they they specialize in uh, research and treatment for childhood cancers, um, and uh, they're a fantastic organization. Um, they share their research with all over the world um, with right now the one mission is to eradicate 
you know, eradicate childhood cancer. So, um, I, again, I'm going to push the button cause I can, you can't fucking stop me. Um, but please, if you can give, uh, please consider going and donating to nines. Where's the, hold on a second. I'll get it. I got it. I was watching uh I was watching TV with with Miss Allie Beth the other day the other day the other day and there was a uh, a St. Jude commercial and it I just had the thought I was like they've been around you know a very long time I yeah I want to say since like the 1940s or whatever maybe I could be wrong on that but a really long time that part I'm not wrong on and I've never heard one negative thing about that place uh no they were they were uh, first of all correct neither have i second of all they were founded in uh the 60s i was close you were yeah you were close um it's close enough close, close enough close enough um Baff over here spewing some catholicism i can get behind <laughs> that's my holy trinity that's that is the holy trinity there it is thank you nine that's my that's my catholicism pal that i want i was uh, listen nine i was almost there i had to open tiltify but you beat me to it i mean obviously because you're already there so it's fine um you know i have gotten i have gotten two emails today about the fucking uh the scarlet violet dlc i got one from nintendo and one from the pokemon company because there's the thing for getting the uh there's a mystery gift for getting a master ball mm-hmm. that you can get I, right I, now yeah. this is yeah, the first uh, ingredient those uh, mm-hmm. performance issues are rearing their ugly head on this stuff you've been yeah, there and they've they got for another play like summit oh that's cool nine Nine, I, I know I know you probably don't know the number off the top of your head, but roughly roughly how much has your community cumulatively raised for Saint Jude over the last few years? Round up to the nearest sixty nine. Thirty five thousand dollars. Thirty five thousand Christ. Thirty five thousand dollars this woman has gotten her community to raise for Saint Julian Children's Research Hospital. Um Yeah. They are a f- I mean, listen, they they literally like you sh- you know, they they bring in families who have kids with cancer. They treat them. They take care of them. Like the entire they family. The bill. Yeah, like that's... Like there's... They, the, they cover the bill. We should just sit on that for a second. Yeah, especially in this fucking country. Like that's... This is what they do. They take care of families who have children who are dealing with cancer. They they treat They treat the children... And they take care of the families. Like, yeah, food, lodging, transportation, everything. They cover it. They take care of it. So when you're donating to St. Jude, you're helping the entire family. Not just the medical portion of it. But the actual care of the family it's, itself as a whole. Like, that's that's what your money goes to St. Jude for. Um, it's absolutely a wonderful and worthwhile cause. Um, yep, families never receive a bill. St. Jude just says we're we've got you taken care of. That's it. That's yeah. the, that's the whole conversation. You just tell it's them what you need. Fam. That's what they say. I don't think that's what they say. No, no, it's true. I no read cap? it in a book. Lolly, I will ban you, I swear to God. Um Well, you're not wearing a cap. Oh, God. Uh, hey, uh, speaking of fundraisers, uh, Nine also just got done uh, with her 12 days of streaming, raising money for Starlight Children's Foundation. Nine, how much did you end up raising for Starlight over the course of this, the 1st through the 12th? $20,000! She, oh, she didn't raise 20000 well, but she did. That's the end of Family Feud. Am I your fucking PR? Yeah, I am. <coughs> yeah, I sure am. Bill's in the mail. 
They won't count as moderator action. I gotta let Tom do it. Damn. Well, wait. That means I have I to can't. remove. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't have the authority. Yeah, I'm the only one that can ban Lolly because he's a mod. I would have to unmod him first, and at that point, like unmod is two more characters than ban. Cool. You pay more people a crochet. Perfect. Perfect. Listen. More importantly, all three of us have the power to ban Krakow. There you go, Nine. And call that, this that's call, true power, honestly. That's also true. Call this your advance. This is this is the advance on your PR work that I've been doing. Seven thousand seven hundred dollars in twelve days. How much did the team raise altogether? Because I know the team raised uh, like a almost fifteen hundred in auction. Did the team end up like I know you got over forty k? How much did like all of you end up doing? And if I ever have a charity, 67? Jesus Christ. Now, oh, so close. That's that is that is very close. That is very close. Um So that was the Stream Stars team. So 67 to 13 23 is what the Stream Stars team got. Uh and that like the total for 12 days uh was 117,280 raised for starlight and of that almost half over half of that was the team stream stars which is just That's absolutely awesome. spectacular absolutely spectacular 26.6 thousand holy shit that's incredible. That is absolutely fucking spectacular. Um, wow. Anyway. Way, this, oh. this is a trap nine, and Zunder's going to send you a bill for this PR work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you, owe me, you owe me so many more crochet Pokeballs now. So many. That's, that's, why, that's why he's asking so many, so many specifics about numbers. It's true, it's true. It's beastly as fuck in the most wholesome way possible. My community is is not wholesome. We are we're not wholesome here. I mean, look at these. We are generous. You are you are generous. I will absolutely give you that. We we talked about that uh, earlier tonight. Nine. We were going over the uh, the we were going over our Twitch recap, and we calculated that um, last week, as of last week, uh, we had gotten a twelve month total of ninety eight hundred over ninety eight hundred dollars for uh, charity between stuff for able gamers trans lifeline and um uh game on to end lupus which was just outstanding like for for our first year doing fundraisers uh that was pretty goddamn great uh i'm i'm incredibly proud of the work that we did here um so uh ever that's those those are lies and you know that um zara hi buddy zara how you doing pal Good to see you. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so proud of what all the stuff that we accomplished this year all together. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what next year holds. This year was, this year was full of a lot of good and a lot of bad. It was a very mixed bag this year. Um, Bless you. Oh, bless you, Bean. Um, this year was a very mixed bag. Um, we had... Okay, that's enough! No. Bless you, Bean. Bean probably. <laughs> right. Um, we had a lot of great things that happened this year. Um, we had a lot of not great things happen this year. Um, and that's part of why I want to kick off 2024 with just something nice and, and fun and all together stuff. Um, cause I think it's what we need. Okay. Bless, Bro, bless what, you are you, what are you doing down there? It's because you're not telling her that I'm blessing her. And oh. so she keeps sneezing, waiting oh. for it. Oh, Tom wants me to make sure to let you know that he blesses you cause he thinks that's the problem. Okay, she says thank you. She's welcome. Um, so I I wanna I wanna kick off the the new year with something fun. Um, 
I might do it on the sixth. I don't know yet. I gotta check and you know, I gotta check with Bean and see what's going on. Um, but I want us to do like a big beginning of the year fun thing. Um and see. Baconator bless you. Okay, that's the ultimate blessing right there. Um but I want us I I want us to do something big and fun and just hang out and chill out like all day. I haven't done a twelve hour in a while. Um so take three gummies, got it. Yeah, take three three gummies, pal. Three gummies. That's um, not gonna help. That's actually gonna make it much, much worse. Yeah, no, just take take a take two. Just only the two, okay? Um but yeah, I Yeah, I'm actually I'd be afraid to do three. I I would be afraid for you to do three. I would be terrified yeah. to see what you would be like with three. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not for it. Thought up a word to describe the community being who they are, but how nice they are. Okay, Zara. Okay, Zara's Zara's oh, good. Is with it me. scrumtralescent? Uh, oh, you love that word. It's such a good word. Degeneracy. Oh, okay. oh, that's Wait, that's really good. That is yeah, that's really fun. that's wow. That's really good. Like okay, yeah, well done, well done, Zara. That's I like that one. So no, you need to buy the rights to that one. Yeah, it's all right. I've already I've already stolen it. See, he's in he's in the UK, and I'm here. So I I've already filed the US trademark for it. And he can't do anything about it. Hmm. Yeah. And. Oh man! Is in the UK. I, I wish I had a hint about that. Yeah, there's no, there's no way you could have known. There's no way you could have known. How would you have known? Um. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Bean and see like what all we have going on because I know we want to try to keep it low key through the end of the year. Just again, this year has been a lot. Um, just a lot of dog shit that I hate. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. Um. I want to fight this year with my fists. No, let this let this year let this year like walk away with its tail between its legs in shame. And let next year we're going to we're going to overshadow this year with next year. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a great new year. We're going to have a great year all year next year. Um I've got, you know, I'm I'm starting my consulting business and I'm going to try to get some work booked here. Um, before the end of this year, because uh, I have to have stuff booked and billed in January, um, to you know make sure I have to I can pay the bills um, going forward. So we're gonna have a great year. We're all gonna have a great year next year. That's that's it. That's we're doing it. I don't I I don't care what any what 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 this year has done. In terms of next year, this year can eat a big old fat one. Next year is going to be great. We're going to have a great time. We're going to hang out. We're going to have fun. We're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I got to sit down soon and figure out the charity schedule because we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Game on to end lupus. I'm I'm kind of on the fence about because that always happens like the beginning of May which is uh, not a convenient time for me because, um, as it turns out, that's my uh, anniversary with Bean. So, you know, that makes Game On to End Loop is hard for me to do for, like, the main event. So they're not going with my suggestion this year, then? I No, I, I floated it past them, and they asked me who I was and who you are. Actually, I'm they... The guy that I'm the guy that just gave you a brilliant name for your lupus charity event. Uh... They are, uh, actually, you know what, you know, it's really funny. Uh, D eight bit D she would absolutely fucking love that name because she talks of, you know, she's a very, she's a very poop positive community. They talk about poop quite a bit. So lupus is poopus is, you know, that wasn't what I had. What did you have? Tootalupus. Oh, tootalupus. Oh, I thought you had lupus as poopus. Because. No, because we're saying goodbye to lupus. Oh, I see. To lupus, we're, I see. We're, we're raising money to help eradicate it. I gotcha, I gotcha. No, that's... that's <laughs> Get okay. the fuck out of here, lupus, you little bitch. That's good. No, that's, that's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. Here, while I'm thinking about it, I'll shout out D. Um, why not? 
This is what I do now. Yeah. I'm just I'm just shouting out people. Lupus's poopus is very good. Yeah. Uh, D's great. That wasn't mine. I don't know who came up with it, but it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, feedback lupus. Nice. Nice there. Nice. Uh, D's great. Uh, she's hilarious. She does a lot of retro streaming. Like, retro is like her life. Um, so, she's great. If you don't follow D, wow. You should follow D. You, she's, and then you should go into her chat and tell her that Final Fantasy is not very good. Do not do that. Please don't do that. Please don't go. Please don't come from my community <laughs> into someone else's yeah. and get banned. Please don't do that. Because that's a poor her reflection her. on me. And I. Zunder sent me, and Final Fantasy is caca poo poo pee pee. <laughs> nope. That's. Nope. That's. That's. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Express written consent opinion of Zunder Zunder Media. Do not <laughs> do not attach the Zunder Media name to that. God damn it! No, we do not do that. This the poke the the, the crochet pokeball has now become a stress ball. As the official sponsor. Of this, is, this is now a stress. This is now a stress ball. This is a stress ball. One more hour of stream, it's about to become a stress disc. Final Fantasy needs to end already. <laughs> how many of these finals, how many of these are going to be final? Who loves the lupus is poopus thing? You do, you, you have, you have multiple sisters, Allie Beth, and they're, they're all delightful. Um, but the baby's my personal favorite. Not that I have favorites. But the baby, she's my favorite. Um, so the consulting stuff, Faf, uh, I'm, um, uh, I've been in working in IT and development, like either indirectly or, uh, or indirectly for 20 years now. And I know how to do a lot of stuff. Um, uh, I'm not the best at a lot of stuff, but I'm really good at a lot of stuff. Um, and it's hard to find sort of a one-stop shop for all things technology. Um, like whether it be like, you know, sysadmin or engineering network stuff, development, um, like some des design stuff, any of that kind of stuff. Um, um, but like the, uh, that's, that's kind of what I want to do is just be like, Hey, small business, where are you having issues and how can we use technology to solve this? Like, what can we do to make problems of yours go away? My last IT job that I had, uh, basically Zara, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, my last IT job that I had was working for a construction company, and I quit because I ran out of things to do. Had a huge meltdown. Nine, go smother Moni with love. Definitely not with like pillows, but definitely just with the love. What if they're pillows that say love on them? I didn't specify, did I? Um, well, I mean, you did. You specifically said not pillows. Okay, well then, you know, I, what if they're blankets or whatever? Um, anyway, um, satellite laser cannon. Perfect. Done. That's that's honestly, yeah. Just the GoldenEye satellite. Just fire EMPs at everything, fry the electronic circuits and everything, and then we're done. Congratulations. Problem solved. Um but anyway, but you didn't do anything, <laughs> didn't I? Uh, so that's that's kind of my thing is I want to, um, you know, small businesses that need help with technology or they're like, hey, listen, I, you know, I got this kind of roadblock or or this uh, um, bottleneck and I don't know how to solve it. What can I do? How can I how can I fix this? Um, and uh then I come in and I'm like, all right, let's sit down. Let's look at it. Let's figure it out. You know, kind of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, maybe a, like a development project where I build some kind of custom software. 
um, stuff like that. But yeah, like the construction company, I quit because I ran out of shit to do. I automated myself out of a job. Like I was going to job sites sometimes a couple of times a week when I first started. By the time I left, I don't know that I had been to a job site in six months because there was nothing for me to do. Like all of my stuff was, I ship you a device that's pre-configured that connects to everything on the network. You just get your internet connectivity from whatever ISP you're getting, which they were already really good at doing on the job sites. You get this, you plug it in and plug all of your stuff into it and boom, you're done. And that's what happened. Like I would ship them a, a device. I would ship them a router and they were great. Everything was done. Um, and you know, every once in a while I would get a phone call, but I was just kind of sitting around twiddling my thumbs and I'm like, I'm bored. I, I need something to do. And that's when I moved over to do development, um, as my career and not just a hobby. Um, but development has been something I've been doing, you know, off and on between professionally, a hobby, whatever, like mm, pretty much my entire life. Like I literally started dabbling in code when I was four on a fucking Commodore. So, uh, I had a Commodore. Did you just for games? But Yeah, I was, I thought you were going to say, uh, you, you had, you know, Lionel Richie, but <clears throat> no, you were I mean, like, imagine, right. Just oh. like, just have him on speed dial. Just be like, Hey, listen, like, can you imagine having Lionel Richie on retainer? He's probably a very generous lover. And he probably is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so that's kind of the idea is I come in, we figure out, you know, where the inefficiencies are, what we could do to solve them. And then that kind of thing. I'm also working uh, with companies that maybe they have a project and they have an existing technology team, whether it's it or dev or whatever, and they need someone to kind of augment that team, but they don't, they can't bring on like hire a full-time person. Um, or they need it for like a, part-time or temporary short-term project, something like that. So kind of augmenting that kind of stuff. Um, and you know, being just like an, an extra hand on the team, um, for special projects or like big things that come up or maybe help get something the, over the finish line, stuff like that. So that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing as, uh, is that kind of stuff. Just, um, tech consulting of all kinds. Um, IT management. If I have a small business that needs like remote IT management, things like that, I'll do that. It's uh, just all kinds of things that I'm doing. Spectrum 48K. There's a name I haven't heard in a while. Spectrum 48K. Tom had the bird type of Commodore. Nice. I had a Commodore 64. I had a Commodore 128. Oh. <clears throat> I just had two 64s. I, t I taped them together. <laughs> Is that what you did? Is that what you did? Uh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, Faf, that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping for is a little contract work here and there, some regular customers where I can set up maybe service contracts and stuff like that with them. Um, and that's, that's really what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping for. So, Hey, if you know somebody with a small business who needs tech stuff, send them my way, you know where to find me. It's here. I'm, I'm, I live here like by the bathrobes, it's just it's the bathrobes back there. Uh, it's a bathrobe. Oh, it's just like this thing, you know, like a salad dressing, but in this case, I'm the salad. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you'll get tossed. I don't want to get tossed. <laughs> that's how you that's how I get banned from the platform. <clears throat> um so yeah, that's uh that's kind of what's going on. Um so I'm wanting to see I don't know if I don't know. Oh boy. If, yeah. SMB, SMB is hard. It's being business hard to get good technical service, hard to get them to spin, which sucks for us. And there's, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the thing, Faf, is like, if I can get my foot in the door, I know I can, you know, because I'm really good at what I do. 
I don't have a whole lot of self-confidence in general, but as far as my abilities with tech, I know I'm really good at what I do. Um, and if I can get my foot in the door with someone to say, hey, I can solve these problems and either make them better or go away altogether, um, then that's, you know, that's kind of the, the best case scenario for me. And then of course they tell, they tell five friends and then those five friends each tell five friends. And before you know it, I'm sitting on top of a pyramid made out of like old busted computer parts. Right there. Yeah. That's like a thousand people. Yeah. You know, in general, um, making problems disappear. doesn't always mean what you, uh, what you're suggesting though says the italian no 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 no. that's that still makes problems disappear (laughs) 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 oh do you got some employees that are asking for a basket (laughs) zara's over at zara gets it and lolly's over here like hey hey, you want some concrete shoes inconspicuous Lee, the uh, employee engagement survey this year asks about the, the status of your kneecaps. <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm, trying not to rust off the tech skills. Oh, yeah, I bet, Faf. It's, it's tough, man. Like, tech moves fast. Tech moves so, uh, fast. It's for sure. Part of, part of the trying to restrict Elliot right now so that he can recover. Mm-hmm. Involves massively drugging him up on gabapentin so that he does not want to jump up and he just kind of wants to go chill out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And chill out he is. Yeah, is he? Uh, is he oh, boy. Is he? Why is that not? He is. He is a loopy boy right now. Why is that weird? Why were those weird hyphens? I fixed that, and I don't know why it was weird, but I don't like it. Mm. Want to go on a driving trip permanently? Yeah. The guy that we were talking about uh, possibly buying the hot dog stand from uh, a few months ago, um, Bean had mentioned at one point, it's like, like he wants to go on permanent vacation. I'm like, Bean, you can't say permanent vacation. She's like, why? I'm like, that makes it sound like he's he's dying. Like, the word you're thinking of is retirement. And so the other day, we're sitting around with the family, and she's like, if I say permanent vacation to you, what does that does that sound like? It's like it sounds like he died. It's like, no, that's. She's like, no, like he just doesn't work anymore. It's like that's called retirement. But I would like to, we, we could, we could, if I, if I need someone to go on permanent vacation, I have, I have Italians for that. You know, I, every once in a while, every once in a while, it, uh, it occurs to me that my entire mod team is Italian. Mm-hmm. Hey! You know, that's <laughs> private corporate you, you're discord. Extrovert. Industry contacts. Yeah. Are, we know our way around a bowl of pasta. Yes, you do. Boy, howdy. Perhaps a never-ending one. Oh, I know you do. Listen, I know I know that if I ever need someone to accompany me to never-ending pasta bowl at the garden, I have people on standby for that. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. <laughs> uh, Faf, I'm, that's, I might do that. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to get. I don't know. Does the mod team hold their mod meetings at Olive Garden? Uh, sometimes we do. Actually, the only time the the only time when there have been multiple mods together was at the hot dog stand. That did it's happen. True. Yeah, yes. it was. Uh, it was actually Tom and Lolly were there, and of course, and Bean there was an and anonymous person there. Then there was an anonymous person there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they're american italian to the core oh they they are very american they are very american italian i assure you american irish italian that's all yeah tom is okay. tom is irish italian yeah okay. yeah sounds like the most new york thing ever yeah well well funny you say that yeah yeah 
guess what part of the country my family is from. <laughs> Tom's family hails from that corner of the country. The uh, New York, New Jersey area. It's true. It's true. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to, I've been very active working on stuff on LinkedIn and trying to get, uh, trying to get some stuff spun up. Um, so we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. So everybody keep your fingers crossed for me. I need, uh, I really need this one to work. Mm, I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping. I say. Open for big stuff. Open for big, big stuff. I bet you are, size queen. <laughs> wow. God <laughs> fucking damn it. Why are well, you... Well, if you're just going to lob it in there like that... Uh, that's uh, what she said. Uh, no, Faf, that's what we have Viv for. Viv is our, Viv is our Boston connection. That's what, that's what Viv is for. He's our mass hole? Yes, he is our, he is our resident mass hole. Yep. So... Yeah, uh, Lolly's got like the Midwestern ish area covered because he's from Ohio. Tom's family but, originally. But that place didn't exist. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, Tom's. I today I'm actually supposed to be saying I'm from Michigan, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We're saying that Lolly's from Michigan. Um, just because, you know, then people stop listening. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. And exactly. then. Uh, Tom, Tom, between like his family originally being from like the New York, New Jersey area, and then having lived in Florida most of his life, he's got you know both of those covered. And then uh, what, Mags? What? What's what's the matter? Uh, and then of course with Viv, you know, he's got the rest of the Northeast covered that you know we get offended about, which is you know, the Mass Hole area. You might be from Michigan. More power to you, pal. Actually, uh, Bean's family. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Bean's family uh, originally uh, was from Michigan, so, and then they moved down here, but they still have a bunch that's still up there. Um, and before anybody asks, no, I don't know whether they're from the upper or the lower peninsula. I do whether not from know. The upper or the lower peninsula. Thanks. I wasn't gonna ask. Yeah, uh, I know you. I you you wouldn't you wouldn't think to ask that. No, but now that you've specifically mentioned it, yeah, that's guess true. What? That's true. What does this little bar mean? I like Detroit pizza. Is that what the one that? that's under the sauce? Yeah, that's it's under the sauce, anything. and it's like all rectangular and whatnot. Hey, what's this? Hey, Faf, do you know what the bar means? That's uh, that's your HP. Oh. See, you want to get the enemy's HP down to zero before <laughs> yours reaches zero. Thanks, thanks. So, like, like I'm, oh. I'm just. Oh, Zander, guess what still lives? Well, well, I know it's not crackers. Wow. God damn. Well, true. I was gonna say sweet alerts test. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, what? It still lives. How far, how many commits behind is it now? I have to go look, but many. I heard a muffled cackle. Does Bean's family sound Canadian? If so, upper, if not lower. They've been down here so long, Fritz, that they've lost any semblance of any accents that they might have from up there. Okay, so if you, if you say, so you either say you're from the UP... Or you're from the LP. Got it. Okay. So like you you either brag about being from the UP or you just like you're not either from, from the there. Up or the oop. Yeah. Oop. Oop. So I have been power washing this entire time, and I'm still only seventy two percent on this. This is a fucking large level jesus christ sounds like the fucking like bathroom the up it's doesn't bigger. associate with the rest oh i got it got it so it's like tampa and st pete 
yeah, yeah. Invisible yeah. wall. Yeah, <laughs> the invisible wall is called Tampa Bay, the actual body of water. I always, I always thought it was the bridge. The bridge was the wall. Well, there's multiple bridges, though. See. Yeah, there's only one anyone cares about. Well, I, which which one is the one that that, that people care about though? I don't remember now. Is it's it the Howard the Franklin? Is it the Gandhi? Which one's the one? Oh, I think Franklin. The Howard Franklin? Yeah, that's that's the big one. That's that's the two seventy five one. Yeah, that's the one. Is this my knowledge of the UP as a Canadian who only goes to the states is when absolutely required? That's fair. You uh, listen. You should you you should only go to the states when it's absolutely required because honestly, it's terrible here. You should uh, you should not do that. This country smells bad. Boy, well, does it figuratively it's... and literally. Yeah, it's it's yeah it it does have a a very distinct odor. Where's my? I gotta go do something very weird tomorrow. Well, what do you gotta do something tomorrow? That's I weird. I haven't done in years. Oop. In years and years. Oh. What? I gotta go to the office. Why do you have to go to the office tomorrow? Because my fat ass purchased a new shirt because I'm a fat ass and I have to go pick it up because they won't ship it to me. What do you need a new shirt for? You don't, uh, you're never on camera. Because I don't fit in my current one. But you're not on camera. In the off chance that I ever have to be, I need it on hand. And if I don't fit in it. What size is it? funnier if you keep the one that you don't fit in and try to, and just wear that one, but never mention it. What size did you get for the new one? Uh, large Mc, McHuge. Is that a three? I think maybe no, I don't remember. God. Listen, I ordered it like a month ago because they only get them in at certain times, and it's it's just now arrived. Where's so Elena? Elena would know. She would know. No, she wouldn't because she had nothing to do with it because it just comes right out of your paycheck when you order one. Well, that's accounting in your house, isn't it? Right. So she knows it's going to happen, but she didn't actually place the order. She knows nothing about it. Oh, so they want you to pay to advertise for them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just wear a normal colored shirt. If I have to be on camera, kiss my dick. I mean, I, they did give us one originally. I just want a new one. I could have given you one of mine, buddy. Yeah. Or I could have just I, bought I got, one like I, I did. Got, I got like four. I don't work there anymore. There's, you might come back with the milk one day. We don't know. I'm not coming back with the milk. I'm coming back to sell them the milk. That's my goal. Oh. I go out to buy milk, and then I end up coming back t- as the milkman. That's the that's how it works. And then I sell the milk at my rate. Oh, my point still stands. This is this is what I'm doing tomorrow. Hey, I got an email from Arby's. Let's see what it's about. I bet it's about food. Hey. Or gift cards. It's about food. Look, classics for $4 or less. Online only. It's the season of feasting. Oh boy, you know no. I love me a good feasting. That doesn't work. Of course you do, Sex Queen. <laughs> hey, hey. I've been feasting for years. In fact, I celebrate the Feast of Tom every year, all right? It's As a, everyone should. It's a, a very, um, it's a very important holiday. We celebrate the Feast of Tom every February like we're supposed to. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Yep. And, uh, every, and every year on February 23rd, you leave a baked potato under your pillow in the hopes <laughs> that you paid a visit. <laughs> by the potato fairy. <laughs> What is he gonna leave three fifty? It was about that time that I realized that was no potato fairy. That was a log nest monster. Because I'm pretty sure paying three dollars and fifty cents for a potato in this economy is actually a steal. It is. You oh. still get them for ninety nine cents at Wendy's. I want, I want, a, I want a beef and cheddar now. I would like, I would like two beefs and cheddars. 
two beefs and cheddars. Two beefs and two cheddars. Yes. Yes. Both. I mean, they got the double roast beef, but it doesn't have cheddar. I need the cheddar. I need that sauce. I need oh, that sauce. Double roast beef. Just throw that shit right in my face. Mm. And the mozzarella sticks. Oh, the mozzarella Actually, sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would probably be a lot of fun to just throw roast beef at your face. What else we got if here? It's roast beef. I would eat it in a heart. Like, I would aim. Like, this is a fair trade, I think. Did, yes. D- <laughs> Uh, Lolly, didn't you tell me you had confirmation from one Elena that these are actually delicious? They they slap, as the youths say. Curly fries, Mags. Curly fries. Yeah, they also have crinkly fries. Don't fall for that. Those are terrible. No, do <laughs> this. This is you. Don't do this. You see these? I see tried this right those here for science. Don't do this. Okay. They are ass. Okay. You don't go to Arby's for crinkle fries. Don't do that shit. These are fucking frozen Orida crinkle fries that they don't even cook properly. You go to Arby's, you get the goddamn curly fries. You get the curly fries. And also stand there and demand they bring back the potato triangles. Your filthy mammalian body needs to be power washed. Oh my, Fab. Uh... They got the jalapeno bites. They got. Wait, chi- am I supposed to time you out? I don't. Yeah, he he wants you to pad your numbers. Oh, oh no! Yeah, that's. No, I only time out for cause. Yeah, that's true. Tom, listen, Tom. Tom it's loves to. Cause I want to. Tom. Tom loves to ban or time out people. He absolutely loves it, but. But he's he's chaotic good. He or he's I guess well he's he's lawful neutral I guess. Yeah, you would have to be lawful neutral because, like, fucking nerd. Anyway, okay, but like the Jamoka shake, the Jamoka shake. Hey, remember, remember, was it year before last? It was when, the first anniversary. Yeah, it was. So that was two years ago when I ordered my Arby's and they didn't include my Jamoka shake. And then Matt and Aaron just showed up with a Jamoka shake later that afternoon. And then just and they just came by and hung out, and those were good times. I don't recall this. If only we had a way to go back and verify that this happened. Yeah, that's true. There's no way to know. How would we know? Who's gonna know? They're gonna know. So we almost wound up with a pre-gigantic Mexican feast last night. Ooh, Faf, you stop that. So I had ordered. I had ordered dinner previously in the evening. Uh huh. Shit, at this point, I don't even remember what. Oh, I think it was a burrito. It was okay. probably a burrito. Anyway, so that showed up, and I ate, and everything was fine. And then a few hours later, the the ring detected motion. So I looked at it, and it was a food delivery being dropped off. And so Ms. Ali Beth went over and picked it up, and it was just a lot of food it was it was probably considering doordash prices at least a hundred dollars worth of food jesus christ i was like we didn't order this we don't know why it's here we're from a mexican place whatever i was like what do we even do we don't even know what service dropped this off what like, the hell we don't there's no address on it there's like there's nothing you can do it was just the food like, fairy well She's like, let's like let's just wait a few minutes and see. Maybe they'll realize their mistake and come back. And sure enough, that's what happened. They realized their mistake and they came back a few minutes later. Well, that's good the, at uh, least. The food, yeah. Like, I would have felt bad because like that was a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, Mags, I have a question. Um. I'm only familiar with Marie calendars from the frozen section. There are like locations. Like it's a place you can go to a Marie calendars, like restaurant and get food. Is is this still a thing? Was this, a th- I don't, I don't know. Like I, what? I'm intrigued. There used to be.
Oh my god. Oh, is the neighbors? Oh. No, you don't you don't get to know a zip code. Let's see. You know, if they got to know, you wouldn't have to enter a zip code. I don't want them to know. How would they know? Try 44241. I'm not putting in 44241. Why not? Because I'm not doing that. Why not? 42069. His is pretty good, yeah. I'm trying. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna go here. There's none. There's there's none in Cleveland. I just thought you should know, Lolly. Yeah, but the moon's over Parma tonight. It's Parma. <laughs> the whole pie happen. and the tin was worth money if you brought it back, which led to you buying another pie. Oh. Apple bottom jeans. It looks like they're all just on the Fur. west coast now. Like it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of them left either. Are there any up here? Jesus. Like the closest one to San Francisco is even down in like San Jose. I've been to San Francisco a couple of times. The drive through Baker Square? Gee, oh my god, Amy. Oh. Love drive through pie. That's. Drive through pie. There's still like one or two places around Tampa where you can go through and like get drive through, uh, like little convenience store kind of stuff, like milk and shit. Like imagine drive through pie and drive through milk. There was also a drive through hot. <laughs> There was also a drive through hot dog place at one point, too. And that fucking closed. The half pound beef and cheddar. That's it right there. Oh, yeah, they got that smokehouse brisket. The brisket's not bad. I mean, it's an Arby's. You know, it's not bad, though. I am, so, I am sad that they don't have the pizza slider anymore. It's making me real sad. drive through bakery would be a million dollar idea. million dollars is a steal for that idea. Drive through pie, new band name. Fritz, put it in the Discord. It's yours, baby. Uh, mm, now I'm hungry. This is what I get. Okay, so here's here's best as I can figure out what the thing. It's like a ratio of like how many lines I added versus how many I removed, and maybe like an extra for like files deleted or something. I don't know. But like, cause see, like there's I for this this pull request. I added 922 lines. I removed 338. And that's roughly like a three to one ratio, which is why there's three green and one red box, right? I mean, that makes sense to me. I don't know. Where's CK? Why would you need him? I don't know, man. He's He might be asleep. Did, is he sleeping? Let me go see if he's sleeping. He doesn't sleep. Every once in a while, he passes out. That's different. Well, I mean, he's still technically asleep. Just like, you know, like accidentally-ish or whatever. Uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, I am. Uh, so I, get, I did, like I said, I got a lot of... I got a lot of Firebot stuff done the last couple of days, like a ton of stuff. There's so much stuff that I like rewrote. And then the next big thing that I'm going to do, do I have... I don't have it here. I think I need to... Uh, 
Yeah, I need to redo that because that that branch is old, old, old. How old is this branch? When's the last time I never <laughs> ask a branch its age? This is 169 you know commits behind the master branch. Nice. The last time I committed to this was nine months ago, which was three months after I started working on it. Cause I started working on it like the end of November last year because the event sub stuff I got into Firebot in my test stuff right before we did last stream anniversary and we did the charity fundraiser for able gamers. Cause I did it through the Twitch native stuff. And that's when I got all that like added in there. And let's look at my contributor graph. Let's see. Let's see who all is here. Um, contributions to master, excluding merge commits. Well done, Fritz. I see it in the Discord, buddy. I like that one. Drive through pie. Drive through pie is your cake cover band. Oh, Tom. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the cat Discord? Ever? In like the last couple of hours. Oh, I know there's something in there for me. Oh, buddy, is there something in there for you? I know. I was going to enjoy it later. Yeah. All right. This is commits. So let's see. So Biggs has the most, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, Biggs has 2,600 commits. He has contributed half a million lines of code. I'm coming up on rejects numbers here. For a number of lines, let's do additions. So it's Biggs, Reject, Me, and then Cave. Oh, I miss Cave. Mags, I think you were saying it earlier. Speaking of missing the Nook, I miss Cave. She's a delight. Um, Does she not contribute anymore? Cave has been offline for a while now. Uh. Yeah, she's kind of taking a break from online stuff, like, as a whole. Fair enough. Yeah. Understandable. Can't argue with that. Mm-mm. So, I respect yeah. it. 126,884 additions, 105,000 deletions. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm the number three as far as those metrics are concerned. That's not bad. I really like Firebot. Like, I know that we know that I like it, but, like, I don't know. It just, it makes me you feel... like it, though? I do. It makes me feel like I'm, like, doing something useful oh. that people actually find useful. Not just me. You are the CEO. I would hope you like it. You, we, you shut up. You shut your face. Um. <laughs> yeah, I want to, I'm kind of hoping that like, uh, I kind of hope that the stuff that I, that pull request that I have open gets merged in in the next day or so. Because I want to take my stuff that I have. Where's my, f oh, hey, there's my fork. Yeah, I don't care about that. 
I have this guy, which I really need to rename. Where's, can I rename it from here? I just rename branch. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I'm going to delete that branch. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to rename gonna that, clip branch. that branch. Clip, clip, snip, snip. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Can I rename the branch here? I'll allow it. I don't know how to do it. I forget. View all branches. Uh, this can go away. Can I rename this? <gasps> oh, you want to get rid of your sassy nut? Yeah. Okay. Branch will be renamed shortly. What about now? Yeah. Wow, that was shortly. That what wasn't it? Where's my remotes? I'm just down here doing stuff. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a win. That's a win for dinner. You had winner. That's what you had. That's a win for Finn. I had hot dogs for lunch Three yesterday. to the pooper. I got a video from Krakow. That... That's not good. Nope. It never is. It never is. Oh... Just tell him he's stinky, it's fine. Oh, he's so stinky. Good God, is he stinky. Um... What are you kids doing in my house? <sighs> Son of a bitch. I said you're yeah. stinky, You're Krakow. stinky, Cracko. I think we made it very clear that you are stinky. You got you got smell tested, and it turns out that you tested positive for being stinky. We could not have been clearer about that. Where are you getting the stank? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Cracko, why are you so stinky? Is it because you're a swamp frog? Is that what it is? Cracko, do you naturally just have swamp ass because you're a frog? I just, I don't know. Or is that something that you... It's a trade secret. God. Uh, <laughs> you need some secret or some... Some right guard or something. You're stinky. Oh, let's be real. He sticks with Axe body spray and that's it. <laughs> Oof. It's like the he herbs and spice. Is about <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Just... Or why... Kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Well, why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ah, phenomenal. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm hungry now. Now I want snacks. I should get... I should That's figure out snacks. Captain. I'm always hungry. It's true. I think the only time you're not hungry is for about 10 minutes after leaving the Olive Garden after never ending possible. Yeah, you're making a bold of assumption about how long that lasts. Uh, 11 herbs and stinkies. Yes, that's correct, Cracko. It's, it's one herb and, and 10 stinkies. One herb and ten stinkies. Oof. 
Yeah, we we herb and stinkies. We we know what we know what herb that Krakow's on. Uh, we well, yeah, there's a dragon around. That's true. That's true. I don't want that. And, uh, where's that? And there it is. I guess I could just delete the old branch here. And then... Oh, I have an even older branch here. And then we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Push that there. Damn it, it did it again. I don't want that one. I don't want it to be named that. That's a favorite, that's... Remote, I don't want... Uh. Where's the... Alright, we're gonna just unset... We're just, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, where's my... I'll get there. Cracko, I'm gonna Cracko, I'm gonna unstunt your forklift, boy. I swear to God. <laughs> How dare you, Cracko? How very fucking dare you. Oh no, did I... Wait, where did I push that to? He'll unsweeten your tea, don't forget. That's... Yeah, he will. He'll try. Oh, that's upstream. Oops. I didn't mean to do it in upstream. Did I fuck that up? Only slightly. Yeah, yeah, I did. Ooh, that's a lot of commits. Uh, listen, we're just gonna... Uh, publish this to Origin. Do, 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 I'm going to... Let's go view all branches. Let's come through here. Uh, the how many branches do I have? Oh my god, I have so many. Uh, that's the nut JS branch. I don't need uh, nut <laughs> nut. I don't need that anymore. Uh. I don't know if I need that anymore. I'm going to leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, this I'm going to get rid of. Uh, Prune. Like Krakow is a sus suspicious user. 
Krakow is a suspicious user. Incredibly suspicious. He's very suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. It. Don't be suspicious. He's doing his best. That's and that doesn't scare you? Oh, it's terrifying. Okay. But, I, mean, I just want to make sure. Oof. Yeah. It's still a statement of fact. Is that the Seribog guy? I think it is. Neat. Uh, okay. Now let's see what we got here. Okay, my branches. That's got the pull request. That's V5. That's the mono turbo, which we're leaving alone. That's this, which I don't know if this. Wait. Two commits ahead of. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that works. I don't know. Well, you know what? It's fine. We'll find out. You know, later. Later, it's fine. Uh, let's go back to my fork. And now we have event sub preview, which is 193 commits ahead of that. You know, listen, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Um... Man, I should look and see... All branches. I should PR this some bitch into V five and see what it looks like. I just I just wanna see. I just wanna see. Just wanna see how many sixty files changed, a hundred and ninety three commits. Christ. Yes, my son. That's just, it's a lot. And also with you. There's just Sorry, so I much here. Yeah, I know. Did this not, did the pause resume effect to you? No, that made it in, right? That's... That's in V5. I'm pretty sure. These branches can be automatically merged, which is wild to me. Absolutely just wild. What I really need to do, and this may be something, I might do this during the day tomorrow, I don't know. I'm gonna go through the code for uh for my event sub stuff and see what needs to still be like polished up so event sub for those of you who are unaware is twitch's new notification system for real-time events um and this is like they're gonna be it's gonna be their system for everything and it's, there's already a shit ton of stuff in it but um there's things like subs and bits and like moderation actions um basically just all kinds of shit like that that will, happens will that make me more majestic or less majestic um it will you will retain your current level of majesty okay, okay yes that's cool. yeah yeah um so here i can just so let's look at all the stuff that event sub handles today like sub. updates to the channels if someone follows there's ad break stuff that got added recently chat stuff is being added in so like um if someone has cleared the message for all of chat for a specific user if someone has deleted a message if there's been a notification for like an event like you know anything like 
subs or channel point redemption, shit like that. Chat messages altogether are going to be coming here at some point soon. Um, and then there's going to be an API, a REST API endpoint to post messages, which means we'll be getting away from IRC, which I'm honestly extremely thrilled about. Um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, cheers, raids, mod actions and stuff. The guest star stuff is here. Channel point stuff, polls, predictions, charity stuff, uh, channel goals like sub and follow goals, hype train stuff. This is what I actually use today for um, when the hype trains start and end. I'm already consuming this stuff. So I'm using that. Uh, shield in mode. Nom, 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 nom. Shout out. Um, nom, 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 nom. Stream online and offline. The stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like all this, like a bunch of this stuff I already have added into Firebot as stuff that we're, that you can use today. Um, so I'm, uh, I need to just go through and like make sure stuff is buttoned up. The library that we use right now doesn't have the new, um, the new chat stuff yet, specifically chat notification is what I'm really looking for. Um, <gasps> hi, Bobo. Bobo, I love you. Bobo, come get your frog. Bobo, yeah, Bobo, come get your frog. He's over here being like 11 herbs and stinkies. You have an integration question for me? Go for it, Faf. You let me know. Um, but like the notification for like chat notifications. There's the broadcaster info, the chatter stuff. If there's an anonymous, their like username, color, what badges they have. Um, we never have anything anonymous happen here. No, never. Uh, like there's stuff like announcements or subs, resubs, sub gifts, community sub gifts, prime stuff. Like it's just there's all kinds of so many things that are in here. Bobo, he's stinky. Dude, you don't have to. You don't have to lie to us. We know it's okay. It's okay to admit that Krakow is stinky. You're not stinky. First, just, just Krakow. It's the first step to recovery. Uh, let's see. I want to see the event stuff. Notice type. Yeah. So subs. So like, what? Which kind of is wild to me because. This is the only way the chat notification, not the subs the, the sub event, the chat notification is the only way that we know whether or not a sub is prime. Today I'm still using the old system to determine whether a sub is prime or not. You throw natural soap on them and toss them in the pond. That's the problem, Bobo. You can't put them in the pond. Ponds are gross. You have to place them on a lily pad at best. Sub gifts, community sub gifts. Let's see. The other thing that's really nice here is like if there's community gifts, which is the only way that you can do multiple at a time, it has this community gift ID. So, like, community sub gift has an ID, and for any sub gifts that come in, it has the ID associated with it, which means it would be really easy for us to detect if a sub gift is coming through that and like handle it. So like right now we have a little system in place that's basically like, yeah, this is a community, like this is a, a sub, but we have to detect whether or not it's a gift sub, you know, despite how long they've existed. This is a recent feature. Yeah. Yeah. So like, in the system, yeah, like Alka, I just um, like this. This is the thing that kills me, Alka. The fact that this is the only way that we know Prime subs in Event Sub is the chat notification. I really wish they would V two or just add it God as a field. It, Bobo. Bobo, how many 
Oh my god, Bobo, we've talked about this so many times. You're not allowed to hurt yourself. Especially at work, but just in general. Somebody reset the sign. Oh my god. And make sure it's not Viv, because he'll hurt himself on the sign again. God, that's true. Working on a Docker project, make it easier for people who want to play around with Discord Twitch bots. That phase, pick a language you want to work with, build the Docker. Okay. Working on this a while back, we need to start a virtual makerspace because the thing that makes you happy. You should put more energy in being happy. This project's coming to make it. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. But like, I just wish, I just wish we had this on here. I just wish like there was an is prime. Just, just add is prime. Just, just put it, just do it. Just like, put like, put it here. Just like here. Just like, just like here. No, don't do that. Just put it just like right here. Just like right, a, right here. It's a trap. Um, That's all. Maybe you should put it uh, under there. God damn it, Lockhart. Under where? Uh. <sighs> it's fine. Eventually, this will be in... You have blisters on your palm and finger from opening the bottle. Oh my god, Bobo, buddy, you gotta not do that. We've talked about this. I do, I do really appreciate like that it breaks out fragments here. So you can have like fragments of like regular text versus a cheer mote versus an emote versus like a mention. Like this is this, the chat notification event object here is really well thought out. And it's incredibly complex because there's so much Damn. shit that could happen. What? 97%. You almost made it. I was mentally fighting against the clock. I wanted to see if I could get this whole thing clean. Before I almost I made it. Almost. Hell of a level. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm, Considering mm -hmm. it's, it's free 99. The old lady couldn't get it open, so you had to. Did you have to, did you have to earn yourself in the process? You just use the Windows version where it's Electron. It's a web app done in JavaScript. Yep. Do you have a terminal version of it? Uh, no, Faf. No, uh, having a headless version of it is on the roadmap for version six, but version five currently does not do that because the front end and the back end are too tightly coupled. Um, but a headless version is definitely something that we're working on for version six for scenarios exactly like this, or for people that want to host Firebot somewhere. Bobo, why are you trying to open bottles asleep? That's no, Bobo. This isn't better. You're not making this better. You, it's not better, buddy. It's not better. You just don't do that. Remember when, remember when Bobo? Oh God, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Coffee didn't kick in yet. Every time I go past the Pepperidge Farm section, mm -hmm. when we're grocery shopping, I want to take a picture and send it to Viv. Because you should just you should just do that and be like I haven't offended you yet today. That's what Lolly does, or he'll see, he like like earlier he's or was it yesterday? I don't know. He's like guess who I haven't offended yet today? I said Tom. He's like also you. Hmm. <sighs> I don't deserve what I sent him. Way to try to you? use me as a human shield. Yeah, that's actually you're a potato shield, so. Like a spud guard or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I'm 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 done rambling. Uh, Asperg, ass please. <laughs> Asgard. Um. Anyway, thank y'all for hanging out. Thank you for making this uh, a really great year. Um. I want to finish out strong. 
Um, again, I have uh, follow <laughs> goal for um, to get us up to uh, a thousand. Uh, so hoping that we can uh, hoping we can make that happen. Um, also hoping for um, uh, hoping to get our our current sub goal is once we get to twenty five new subs. Uh, I got a Lego stream I want to do because um, I got a nice little Lego set that Sydney got me, so I want to put that together on stream. So I think that'll be a fun time. And then, uh, yeah, I might be back tomorrow during the day for some Firebot stuff. If my wait, what's going on over here? The Firebot Discord just lit up. What have you done? Oh, nothing. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing happened. Um, Krako, you cannot eat my Legos. I am. I will not allow it. Um. Don't worry. You can dig them out of his poop later. Uh, Faf, it is. Iceberg ready to Tokyo Drift. First of all, Faf, thank you for the thank you for the bits, buddy. Um, I really appreciate you. Second, uh, version six is not quite in active development yet. We're we're getting there. Uh, we've just had the team has been scattered to the winds dealing with life. So we're we're working on it. We're working on it um, Anyway, all right um, Sub goal follower goal Tell your friends come hang out uh, We'll be I'll be back if not tomorrow then on Sunday evening um, Probably Oh what am I probably going to do on Sunday? I might go back mm. to Backpack Hero. I might get back into Backpack Hero because that's just so much fun, mm. and I got a lot of so I got a lot of stuff to unlock and and do still in that. So um, that's probably what I'll be doing. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's figure out somebody to raid. Let's go. Let's go you see. Know who I see that seems out of the ordinary. Mm, let's see. There's a, there's a hidden. There's a, a hidden. Hello. Since I know Everin Tug, I know all your Twitch. Well, that's fair, Max. That's fair. Listen, you're you're you have very refined taste. There you go. Uh, let's see. Vi's playing something. I have no idea. Wisties playing Dead by Daylight. Wow, there are a lot of people on tonight. Holy shit, snacks. Uh, Astro's on doing his his science thing. Is that the is that the titty game needs it for that, everyday uh, hustling? Zam's playing. No, no, that's not the titty game. What Zam never plays the titty game. He would never do that. Oh, well. Son of a bitch. Is that my first three year? Tom, is that the first three year? Uh possibly. I uh, think I was I think I was the second sub behind Bean. Yeah, I think you were. Um Wait, that means that you have the uh That means you have the three year badge now. Where's the Oh no, I don't because I have the founder badge. Yeah, you have the you have the founder badge turned on, but you have access to the three year badge now. Yeah. Where in the hell is it? Uh. It's. Where do they stick the s Hate them. Oh, it's oh, it's god, they keep moving shit around. Oh yeah, they do that. Uh Faf, yes, my so it counts the month leading up to so um that means that because my, my affiliate anniversary is coming up here in a few weeks, um, so it's in January um, when I hit affiliate. 
So it's 36 months, but like it's 35 plus one day because it's a monthly sub. So that's basically what happens. So yeah, Tom, you have the three year badge now, buddy. Do you know what the three year badge is? Uh, it's the milkman robe. It's the milkman robe. Yeah, that's the three year badge. That's the good one. Um, all right. The rest of these are shit. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying that's that's like that's like the king of all the that's the king of all the robes. You know, that's that's how it works. Uh, all right, we got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Uh, who am I going to go? Who am I raiding? Um. Man, there's so many people on doing stuff. You know what? We're doing it. Faf, no. Faf, yes. All right, we're going to go raid Zam. Because, of course, he's playing his anime titty game. Let's, uh, let's go... Wait, you just told me he wasn't. God, you're sending mixed signals. I know. That's I I lied to you. I don't know if you knew this, but I have lied to you. Nobody lies on the internet. Yeah, that's true. That's because, that's how nobody knows that you're a cat. Um, Meow. Yeah. We're anyway. We went over this yesterday. God. Bean was a cat. Also, yes. Remember when Krakow legitimately thought Bean was a cat for, like, years? That was great. All right. Anyway. Was he wrong? No. All right. You're going to look at him and tell him that he's wrong? <laughs> Stupid smickle. What does that even mean? God damn it, Cracko. All right, listen, we're getting out of here. We're going to go see Zam. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Sunday. All right? Listen, as always, please be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And get out of my house. I have to go snuggle loaf now. Bye. Penis. <laughs>